Can I leave the music or you want me to turn it off? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I will be very low, honestly. Yeah, it's supposed to be candid. Whenever you're f***ing ready. Are you ready? Are you filming? Yep. Are you good? See? The best f***ing investment you can do in your life, a lift. It's f***ing a mechanic. We hate it. Okay, good. Come over here. Let me show you something. So, this is a Mini Cooper S. One of my favorite cars. It's tiny, it's cute, it's European, it's not gigantic like you normally have in America. I gave it to my brother. This is a thing you should never do. Never give your car to your brother. Guy will never admit it, but I believe he was in traffic. Uh, because of TikTok, he has the attention span of a hamster and drive right into the trailer in front of him. And uh, let me show you something. A lot of <laughs> came out of his pants. Look at that. That's what happened right there. See, that is the effects of what you do when you do not pay attention. See this? This is where the oil is in. There was no oil when the car came here. Anyway, I brought the car to the mechanic. They told me it was 10 grand. I told them gently to go himself. And uh, I decided to do it myself. So here we are, hating my life. But it's still fun, it's still fun. Let's do this, let's do this. You can turn it off. But I don't want you to film stuff that you don't need. So I think the next step here is to put this guy up. Let me see if I have all the screws I need. I think you can so give it a- So how long have you been working on cars? <sighs> I think it's pretty much since I was a little boy. My, brother, my father was into motorcycles, so that's what I started with. Mm -hmm. I've been riding a motorcycle since I was uh, three years old. Um, fell a couple of times, uh, also on my head, that's probably why I'm stupid, um, but I still love it. And then, of course, uh, as you grow older, the toys grow, and you go from a motorcycle to a car. And here I am. Now, my passion is classic cars, uh, but sometimes, uh, because of the mistakes of other people, you have to fix the, what they create, and this is a good example. Now, I'll show you later, but outside we have a couple of race cars, because I also race on the track. Yes, I like adrenaline. Oh, oh, you can come over here if you want. Just do a close up. Oh, okay. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I love it. Actually, I do not. Um, I'm not kidding. Um, <laughs> if, if something, so apparently this stuff has water in it. Apparently. Oh. We'll find out if it does. If it does, it will explode in my face, but it's okay. <laughs> This is a radiator. This is what keeps your car cool. Okay. Ah! <laughs> okay, I need a. Give me a second. Okay. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Okay. But yeah, loving my brother right now <laughs> a lot. How old your brother? My brother is 19. He's uh... the smartest of the entire family. <laughs> Guys, the biggest present you can have in your life is having siblings, for real. They can be a pain uh, sometimes. You want to gently kick their ass, uh, <laughs> but they can be the best source of wisdom. My brother is smart because he has me and my sister as examples. We were the experiments. Uh. Hey Amen. That's the point. Okay, this thing is will you follow were the, me. The test subjects. I just hurt myself. Oh no! <laughs> I, just, oh, no. Sorry. I need to try this again. Okay. Um, but yeah, no, brothers. Uh, Brother's literally a blessing. My sister was even better. Are you have siblings? I have one. Brother or sister? One older sister. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, she was, she was a test subject. Yeah, but she's a sister, so you she were lucky because she taught you how women she work. Did, do women stress the hell out of you? Um, I mean, they, in the dating world, that's yeah, what I mean. In the dating world, yeah. Yeah, why are we as men uh, so blind sometimes? Yeah, like the, Sometimes it's hard to figure out when you like when she likes you. Yeah. Like the other day, okay, the other day, I I went out with this girl that I met a few times earlier, and she told me she actually opened up about um, how she was trying to tell me that she liked me. Oh, okay. So, and she told me my responses. That's where I realized how much of a moron I am. Listen <laughs> to this is funny. So like, at one point she asked me, so what are you doing tonight? I'm like, uh, ah, I'm meeting with friends, but then I'm free. And then she said, oh, I'm free too. And you know what I said? 
good for you. <laughs> that, that's how blind you can be if you don't really think about it. Hey, good for you. I'm glad good. you're free. I'm glad you're free. Good for you. Oh, we ended up going out that's and good, she was funny. <laughs> but uh, wow. Like, like, you, you didn't get my, my hint, did you? Like, I understand why, why women are very frustrated with us. Yeah. Are you blind? Like, if you want to tell us that you like us, uh, <laughs> slap us with reality yeah. in our face. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, we're almost here. We almost got it. Almost. Oh! So you're, you're dislocating a uh, hose? I'm dislocating my own oh. arm right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm connecting a water hose oh. to the radiator. So let me show you. Okay. The engine has to stay cool. Okay. If you do not have water, the engine explodes. Not really, but uh, it doesn't like it. Right. So, what I'm doing is I'm connecting now the engine with a water hose to the whole radiator and then back right here to the other radiator. I don't know if you see it, this guy. Oh, oh okay. Uh, the problem is it doesn't, it doesn't want to get in. My bag. It might be good. You want a light? Oh, yeah. I got this one. <laughs> no thanks. Please, no one pull your phone down. Yeah, the funny thing, th there's the whole stereotype of how Italians speak. It is true. We speak like Super Mario. It is. It's like, so I literally, I remember my cousin came here because my cousin lived with us, uh, Nicolo. He's uh, 24 now. And he come, came to study to George Mason. Okay. And he had a project about Italy. And he needed an actual Italian uh, to, come, uh, to come there. So he called me. And uh, they had to ask me questions and stuff. This one girl comes and says, uh, are any of the Italian stereotypes true? And initially I wanted to explode on her, telling, ah, because you believe in stereotypes and you're an asshole and blah, blah, blah. And then I started thinking about it. So we eat spaghetti, we eat pizza, we speak like Super Mario. In most cases, we cannot speak English. This is not normal. <laughs> I am like a... Uh, a rare, fi a rare breed. We do not speak English. We yeah. literally do not speak English. We drink 50 coffees a day. Yeah, yeah. So then I said, no, no. Actually, they're all true. You cannot be discriminatory towards an Italian because all the stereotypes are true. Huh. We're romantic. We literally compliment uh, whatever woman comes around. <laughs> I don't know. Have you ever watched the movie? What's the name? Spy movie? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know when uh, the Italian guy picks her up uh, and tries to kiss her? Mm. You know what I'm talking so, about? In the Alfa Romeo? Yeah, that. that. Uh, we, we see a stranger, we just talk to her and say <laughs> some romantic <laughs> and try to kiss her immediately. No, my, my, my worst pickup line. It was so funny. I see this girl, start talking to her, and I see she was interested. So I was like, I'm going to use the same line that uh, he used in that movie mm. just to see if it works. Just, it was just <laughs> funny. It's like, uh, if I keep on looking at you, I will fall in love. Oh! Too late. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh too late. I got, oh. I got slapped in the face. Oh, really? <laughs> it's a nice reality check. Have you ever been slapped in the face? No. We ended up still meeting after that. Oh, so, okay. so it went all well. It was just too premature. Let's, <laughs> put, it <laughs> let's put it this way. Ah, mamma mia. So guys, what I'm doing here, as you can see, so this behind is what cools the engine. This in front is uh, what you need for the air conditioning, uh, what you Americans love so much. Uh, <laughs> air conditioning. That was one big reality check when I came to America. You got air conditioning everywhere. Everywhere. Yo, it's, it's summer. Then I get in and I need to put a uh, hoodie. <laughs> Chill out. <laughs> Madonna. <laughs> so here's a mechanics classic. You ready? You see these? These are all bits. Mm. You never lose them except for a number 10, which you see is different than all the others. You always lose the 10. Every time you use it, you lose it. You got to buy at least 10 what? because, yeah. Wow. I, I bought so many of these. How many do you have? At least I had 30, but oh now I don't God. know. I, now it's probably two. So number 10s are more common than anything else. Yes, and wow. you're going to lose it. They get lost in the engines uh, and oh. they never come out. So apparently, this is in. So the next thing we're going to do is put this. Uh, and let me show you the before and after, OK? Good, yeah. This is how it's supposed to look. 
That was a 10. That was a 10. See, it lost. <laughs> it, it, it's lost. You don't see it anymore. OK. This is how it's supposed to look. And this is the accident one. Oh. Yes. And it's thick. How heavy is that? Do not drive on the fing phone, porca puttana. Eh? Imbeciles. <laughs> you know the funny. I saw some images here. I feel that America from. So, it's not an insult because I love this country. America, to some perspective, is. Uh, the way Italians look at America is the same way as uh, Americans look at Floridians. Oh. Does that make sense? Okay, wow. Like when you see some of like the stuff that you like, it's yeah. out of reality. <laughs> You're like, why? why? And the reason I was saying this, I was driving with my cousin, and we're driving, and there was literally this lady in the car with an iPad next to her steering wheel with a movie going on. I'm like, dude! Oh. <laughs> dude! Oh. <laughs> dude! <laughs> no, but I love it. Don't get me wrong. What's more important, your safety or the movie? Probably the movie, right? The movie. Always the movie. So. As you can see, everything is fine, except for the fact that I was not supposed to bolt the bolts, to, to screw the bolts. See, I went through prematurely here. Uh, this is the way it's supposed to look. I think we can mount it. You ready? Only you. Like many of the things I talk about is things I actually believe in. Uh, exactly. Uh, which, if you didn't believe uh, what, for example, one thing I talk about a lot uh, is, uh, you see me working on a car. I am not a mechanic, okay? I'm not a mechanic. I learned through the system of f around and find out. Um, and uh, YouTube videos and all of that, which by the way are amazing. And I'm the living example of, uh, you are capable of literally anything. You just don't know about it. You're in your pants because you see some parts and bolts. You're like, oh, how does this work? You'd be surprised, okay? I literally built a house last year. So that was, the most humbling experience in the world because uh, there's one thing I do not like about myself but I also like at the same time I'm very cocky and I'm very optimistic so I'm like yeah this is easy I can do it <laughs> I almost killed myself in that house that's how like at one point I was like how does this <laughs> work and um, I got so depressed in that I um, also did something that I actually advise to everybody so I owned two houses at the time down there. One was the house I was working on, and the other one was a house that was barely livable that I would have fixed later on. So I was living in a hole while working on the other one. And I literally spent my entire summer there while all my friends were posting from Italy at the beach. And I got depressed as I ended up finishing it, learning how it works, and it made me a lot stronger. What should everybody do? So if you live in an okay situation, like once a month, uh, put yourself in a shitty situation just to remind yourself how lucky you are. Because, um, I mean, people on TikTok see what I do, see me living in a beautiful house. You saw my house. It's a big house. It's amazing. I would like to show you one day where I live. <laughs> so where I lived when I work on the houses down in Lynchburg. Okay. And you realize what I mean with uh, just reminding yourself uh, to be grateful by living in a situation. Right putting yourself in a tough situation. It's not, how can I explain? When I stepped my foot in America, I was applying to jobs. Nobody was giving a sh because I was an Italian who barely spoke English at the time. So I found my first job in a dealership selling cars. Oh. However, while going to that interview, I remember seeing the Volkswagen building. There's a Volkswagen headquarters here. And I found out that also Lamborghini was here. Oh, yeah. I remember ride, riding and telling me, okay, in the next Five years, uh, I will end up in the Volkswagen Group of America. I did my experiences, and fast forward, uh, two and a half years later, I was hired by Lamborghini. So I was just the right mo the right person. I almost got a cramp on my hand. <laughs> I was the right person at the right time. So that is manifestation. I also told myself I would become a real estate investor full time. And fast forward uh, three years later, and here I am. Now I'm working on a car, but I'm working on houses, mm. on my houses that I own. So that happened too. And I also told myself when I was little that I would do social media. I just didn't know how, because mm. I'm not a professional editor like you are. I mostly <laughs> down, find out. Uh, I never had the, like you're much more visual. Uh, I focus more on the message, okay. but when you when you edit stuff you're very good oh, 
and um, but I still figure a way to do it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a different style. It's not beautiful. It's not aesthetically pleasing. Uh, it's not aesthetically pleasing, but there's a message, strong it's message. I talk about many of the things that I love about America, but many of the things that make me very angry about uh, America, mm. uh, which is some of the mindset. Because, I mean, I, I came here, okay? There's literally people selling their kidney to come to America. Mm. And then I come here and so many people complain about this place. And I understand, it's not perfect, okay? But holy sh**, you have no idea. You have no idea what is happening outside of America. Mm. I lived in China. I lived in Australia for one month. Uh, I lived in... Uh, Germany, I lived in Italy. Guys, uh, this place is amazing. F***ing amazing. You guys are nuts, like Americans, and I love it. In a good way. You know why? You still there? Yeah. You guys are amazing. You think Americans are amazing? Yeah, let me explain you why. Uh -huh. So, whether you are a rich guy or the peasant out there, the one thing I like about Americans is of all the populations I met, I met across the world, you're the only guys that have a dream until they die. Ooh. Some people achieve it, which is cool, and this place definitely is one of the few places that allows you to, but you try until you're dead. Shit. Does that make sense? Yeah. And I love it. Like, uh, if you are in Italy and you come up with a cool business idea, they tell you you're a moron. If you're in America and you come up with an idea, yeah, some people will tell you you're a moron, and we probably are to, from many perspectives. However, however, some will come to you and tell you, let's do it. I mean, you're the perfect example. We talked on the phone a couple of days ago, and now, boom, you're here. Hell what yeah. the actual f <laughs> Why don't you get in? <laughs> ah! <laughs> See, that's the problem. Uh, Sometimes everything works, and sometimes you gotta, you gotta improvise, right? As, You'd be as, surprised by how much you say every day or think every day that actually can be cool. Oh sh! Did I just break the screw? Perhaps I did. Uh oh. Yeah, I got that part. Invite. Accept. Oh. Oh, this is. Up. Oh, fun. This will be very messy. This I know it already. Crazy. I know that people will hate it because they can hear both. Uh, Are you able to eliminate the microphone? Are you able to eliminate the microphone on oh yours? Oh, yeah, because yeah, I think that we're going to have double sound. Yeah. 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 It worked. Hey, yo! <laughs> I fucking love it. <laughs> we got it. Wow. Okay. I think I can screw this in. No, honestly. I believe that after this, we can fill the car up with fluids Ooh. and turn it on Ooh. and figure out whether it will die what do you say to it to turn it on? in Italian <laughs> and turn it on. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, and let's see if the car will die on us or whether it will actually work. That's one of the most exciting and uh, scariest moments of mechanics. Turning it on. Because what happens to me one time is I made the engine blow. Oh. I turned it on, uh, there was too much pressure, and I had to rebuild the entire engine, which oh. I did not like. Okay, this guy is in. Where the hell is the reservoir? I'm weak. A little concentrated on doing Making sure. So let me explain you something. Old cars didn't have all this sh But when they would do an accident, they wouldn't break. New cars, whenever they have an accident, they look like they're destroyed because they're made on purpose uh, to absorb all the impact. Old cars didn't break when you had an accident, uh, but you'll be dead. New cars break, but you're still alive. Mm. Now you learn something. So whenever you see a destroyed car, you know that it's doing its job. Let me put in the last screw, which I lost. No, it's right here. And then, you can fill it up. Amadeo, why are you so good with your fingers? <laughs> You wanna be good with your fingers? Do some mechanics. It's the best way to learn it. You can reach points that were never reached before. <laughs> okay, we got this guy. Wanna know something funny? Mm. Actually, this is the, we don't need this. I think you can just turn it on like this. We gotta lower the car for a second. Actually, can you, you see the green button on the car lift? You want me to press it? 
Press it for a second. Are you sure? Yeah, just press the green button. Okay. Again? Okay. Yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it. Okay. Now we can lower the car. Oh. I told you, everything looks so hard to do until you actually do it, and then you realize how easy it is. So the next step is, I think we have a problem. Houston, we have a big problem. Oil, oil, where's the water? Oil, <laughs> uh, uh, brakes. There should be like a water reservoir or something. Are you able to there should be a place where I can put water in. Okay, okay. And there's not. No, 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 no. Am I stupid or am I blind or am I? <laughs> I need your help. There should be something like this that you can turn around, like a knob. Oh, yeah. This is okay. oil. This is oil. Is it this one? When so I went to Ibiza with oh, my sister. Oh, cool, dude! I got loved. I've never been. Yo, do not go to Ibiza, especially if you're looking for ladies. No, because no, no. so Party. I went to Ibiza. <laughs> Because, uh, yeah, just party. I went yeah. to Ibiza with my sister. Okay. It was just men, me and my sister. Oh my God. Nobody went to her because everybody thought she was my girlfriend. Good point, yeah. And she was happy about it because the point. amount of trashy men yeah, yeah, were yeah. there. Exactly. I mean, that's a uh, we haven't been canceled yet, though. True. Do you, can you give me that light? Yeah, that's where all the water goes. And then I need some... Pla okay, this is the guy to... Okay, okay, okay. I guess we have it. We have it. We have it. I know what to do. I know what to do. The question is, will it leak? That's what we're gonna find out. Look around and find out. Show. Will it blend? Yeah. Will it blend? <laughs> no. Yes. You don't want the engine to blend. <laughs> blending an iPhone. You yeah. see the iPhone blending? Yeah, yeah I remember that. Because yeah. I'm now wanna, I'm gonna try to pour it. Am I a good pourer? We'll see. Uh... Oh, no, no I'm go. not. I'm not. Yeah, it makes you want to want to drink it, right? Yeah, just, <laughs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, you might get canceled for that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that, everybody. Yeah. Oh, this one was good. This one was good. Woo! Oh. See, the reason why it's doing this is now filling up. And now I need to turn this guy around. I still have the aftertaste of that. Oh no! Yeah! I ah, see how it went down? You see how it went down? Ah, oh. I'm gonna show you again. Is that, is that good or bad? It's good. So oh. when you fill it, there's air in it. Okay, oh. let me show you. Let me, let me fill it up again. Yeah. You maniac. Very bad pour. Okay, watch, watch. Okay. Now if I turn this, I'm gonna deburp it. Oh, wow. See how it went down? How yeah. went down? This is hydraulics. Whenever you fill something, you need some other points that lets the air out because the whole tubing is full of air. Uh. Can you hear it? How it whistles? Not anymore. Now the air is out. Mm. So okay. the water is uh, pushing, the water is compressing the air in the system. And. Um, at one point, the air is so compressed uh, that it won't allow, allow any other water to go through. So you need to open the air at some point uh, mm. to let the air come out uh, and the water come down. Like, if I close this again, let me show you again. Ah! Wow! I think I burped it out already. Yeah, it's a lot of air. Let me try again. Can you hear it? Just a little bit, yeah. A little bit. Mm -hmm. It's hissing a little bit. And you want that. Yeah. It's what you want. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. Give me some of the light. So give me the night. Are uh, you ready? Okay, now we need also your help to tell me if you see or hear water. Moving around. Let me take this out. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, is that supposed to make noise? No, no, that's me. Oh, okay. You ready?
good that start. is a good start. Good start, good start. I'm gonna give it some acceleration. Oh. Just to let the engine warm up. Okay. Just like, those are good sounds, yeah? Yeah, I like it. We cannot drive it, but I like it. Okay. I'm satisfied. Okay. Hell yeah. Hell. Fuck yeah. yeah. Go, go okay, so $1,000, car is working. It's turning on. It's not working, but it's turning on. It's a okay. start. It's so a start. Describe, describe the, the difference. The difference between what? Uh, Why are you um, able to dr like turn it on and do that without, but you can't drive it? So, I don't know if you notice, when I accelerate, the engine is moving a lot. Yeah, yeah. Do you see that? Yeah. Because, so, the engine is supported by two supports here, this guy and this guy. Okay. But under it, there's another support that makes it avoid uh, moving. And it's not on. So if I drive around, this guy's moving too much. Okay. And you don't want that to happen or will f It will damage the car, and yes. You. Not me, I'll be fine. The car will be f But it works! It works! It works! Woo! Hell. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I like that angle. I really like that angle yeah. on the on the stuff. I so. wanted to be, be able to see what, yeah, what's going on. Anyway, I think we are done with this. Uh, I can finish it another time. Okay. Cause there's this uh, st this guy to move. Uh, it can be tedious. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to do here that I don't want to do. <laughs> we got it. Woo! We can close it. Nice job, man. Nice uh, job. Yeah. We got it. Perfecto. Perfecto. Ah. We can turn these guys off and we can move somewhere else. Ah, you want to move inside? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I can talk a little. Ah. Ah. You can go under the house, smoke a cigar, do a podcast down there. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's up? <laughs> so, actually, let me show you something before. Let me leave these guys here for a second. How much of a man? This is my first time. With holding the tripod. Holding the tripod. It feels, it feels like a stabilizer. So my room is a mess. No, it's not, dude. Yeah, look at that. That is illegal. This is a mess? That is illegal. This is a mess? Oh, man, that is illegal. Is that is, I hate it. My mother would kill me. I was like, oh, you cannot bring people like this. Okay, okay. You, you have laundry on the chair over there. It's kind of gross. That is the chair. That is <laughs> the chair. You know exactly what I'm talking about. So this is where I normally film many of my YouTube videos. Really cool. Yeah, uh, when I talk about finance and stuff, this is where I film my stuff. I do also fashion videos, which normally I filmed in here, which is my wardrobe. Again, it's a mess, it's full of shit, but, but, come on in, come on in. This is the wardrobe. There's a lot of stuff, there's a lot of vintage stuff. I'm into vintage quality, so I have a lot of clothes that are older than me. You know what this is? Actually, let me show you I two things. You in that jacket right there. The, okay. The, the brown one right here. Which one? Oh, this one? Yeah, yeah this one is 35 years old. But uh, the cool things are these two jackets. So, I love these jackets. And it's a funny thing. People make me so many compliments on these two jackets. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this, yeah. this one especially, yeah. is a Russian general jacket. Whoa. Okay, if you look at the side, where is it? Where is it? Oh, there's, there isn't a sign on the side. But it's marine. You see the marine knobs? Oh. The Russian Marine. Wow. You know what this is? No. <laughs> I cannot tell you. <laughs> Isn't it funny how I guessed it? Man, I'll, I'll, I'll censor it so no one knows. Uh, I'm just gonna have to guess. So... Um, do, you ever get, do you ever get on the internet? Do I ever get what? Ever... People love it. Oh. What, the, the funny thing is people love it, but people don't know where this jacket comes from. Okay. And We're going to censor it, no worries. Uh, or maybe not. No, you can say it. Like, I made videos on it on TikTok okay. already. Like, okay. uh, look at the quality. This jacket is twice, three times our age. Wow. Okay, hold it. Hold how heavy it is. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that would keep you warm in the winter. It does. Yeah. It's, uh, I, I wore it in Chicago. You have to maintain the leather, but this is, like, it's thick leather. So, yes, it has a bad history. Oh, see, that's I broke I broke the thing. I broke you know, the that's thing. That's like my, one of my biggest pet peeves when the coat hanger breaks. Yeah, I mean, anything really anything will break this. Yeah, yeah. Anything will break this. <laughs> but yeah, we have uh, vintage Burberry. Wow. We have a vintage Ralph Lauren, vintage Boggi. We have, uh, you know what these are, batiks? You know what batik are? Mm -hmm. Batik are like the linen uh, Asian shirts. Oh. But yeah, I love vintage. 
I nothing is thrifted. Funny thing, fashion in Italy, we don't buy a lot. Oh. We buy little but good quality, and then we give it on uh, by generations. This okay. used to be my and father's. Uh, uh, this one used to be my grandpa's. Ah. So ah. you you never buy when you buy you buy good uh, and you mm. keep it on for generations. Right, right. You keep it around. Yes, and uh, but yeah. That's where I film. I'm trying now to move everything upstairs in the studio, which I'm gonna show you later. Mm. And we can sit outside, I think, on the hammocks if you want. Look, there's sun and it's raining. That's the hot tub. I like that actually. Whoa! And this that's is my other. Motorcycles. Yeah, I'm a big motorcycle I guy. About that. Is this yours? So that's my brother in law's. Oh. That's my brother in law's. <laughs> I love BMW bikes. Okay. I love BMW bikes. But yeah, guys, we're setting up here. Give us a second. I don't really have anything specific to talk about, but that's exactly why I like making podcasts. Okay. Hopefully the idea is... You always improvise it? Every, almost every You time. never knew already what you wanted to ask? Um, so yeah, the best, the best podcasts are the ones where you happen to be in a room with somebody, or you happen to be interested in something someone's saying, or like... Do you put your opinion a lot out? Not as much as I should. You did in the past a lot, okay. and then you go, I mean, yeah. like, do I remember during the pandemic, I was watching you, you were putting out your opinion much more. Now you videotape what is happening, rather than put your opinion, but it's, I'm not saying it's good or bad. Absolutely, I'm, I'm glad you, you um, are someone who has paid attention without, being, without letting it, like, hinder your beliefs. It's, oh. it's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> These are so, from Italy, by the way. Oh, wow. I don't taste, know if you like them or like... Yeah, they taste delicious. I haven't had a cigar in a long time. Though. Okay. Um, so, the the idea of podcasting on uh, on a whim, okay, is because if we if I told you a month ago, a day ago, a week ago, hey, let's do a podcast about this specific thing, right? As soon as we are recording, there's there's probably been something up until that moment that's that's on your mind, you know. If I if I want to talk to you about it, it's probably something that you're trying not to talk about. That's what a lot of podcast people do. Like, there is a popular podcast called the the Nelk or the Full Send Podcast. Yeah, Full Send. They interviewed O.J. Simpson, mm -hmm. and the one rule was don't ask him the question. It wasn't like, oh, I'm gonna trick him into asking this question. He just it came about. You know, it, I I typically accidentally say stuff, and then later on I'm like, oh, did I actually say that? I, well, I can't believe I thought of that, saying that. Okay. Kyle is the opposite way. Like Kyle obviously runs a business. He's like almost a he knows what to ask for. He's like a two hundred and fifty million dollar business. Fuck. Nelk. Fuck. A quarter billion. Okay. Right? That's a quarter billion. I think. Yeah, that's a quarter yeah. billion. No, for me, it's all. Of, my social media is all my opinion. Literally all of it. Literally all of it. I think that's a. That's what people want these days. Okay. So you're giving people what they. So can. you're saying that, not many people put out an opinion. Correct. I feel a lot of people putting out an opinion. Let me ask you a hardcore question, okay. How many times have you in America? You're in America. I mean, you have descendancy from Europe, but you're American. Why is it so hard to have a good friend in America? Hmm. I know that's a very hard question. Actually, let, bef before you answer that question, do you have good friends in America? Probably at least one. Okay. Uh, do you have somebody that you had since you were born? Um, that you consider somebody who would uh, get with you in a fight? Meaning, protect you in a fight? Or somebody who... From birth, no. Okay. How about you? I have a few. A few, okay. A few. Um, some were... In Italy we have uh, uh, generational friends, meaning friends that derive from your family friends. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Which, uh, because of the way our culture works, uh, they remain your friends. Mm. Had uh, some of them uh, come with me through the East Coast in the past couple of weeks. I don't know if you saw me posting with some Italians the past couple of weeks. Uh, yeah, it was like a podcast. We also, yeah, I also funny thing. I brought them to the first podcast of their life, uh, and they were shitting their pants because they didn't know what the fuck to say. Uh, they were scared about, ah, oh, we'll understand their accents. Like, ah, don't give a sh. Don't worry, it'll be fine. By the way, shout out to Tony. Tony was the guy who was filming it. He was okay with it. Nice. Um, but yeah, I have uh, I have generational friends. I have friends that I met later. Uh, but yeah, literally brothers. Like uh, people I went through a lot of with, uh, mm. and that I still talk to a lot. Uh, 
I invite them here, they invite me there, their, f their family loves me and my family loves them. Uh, and it's people you carry on with for the rest of the life. Mm. In America, I have, uh, I have a few friends, uh, but right. not at that level. Does that make right, sense? Right. Uh, like, um, what I notice here, it's very easy to meet people. Very easy to meet people. Never been so easy to meet people. It's very hard to keep a person. Yeah. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So my question now, after you told me about your story with your friends, uh, is why? Why in, uh, is in America so easy to meet people, but very hard to hold on to them and have them hold on to you? The easiest answer is society. Go for it. Go on. In so it, the, the, the idea in society is like... Um, you want to be... Society wants to keep you alone or what? Well, I, I guess it, in the DMV especially. Okay. If, if I meet you and you don't have a reason to benefit me. Okay. I probably don't have a reason to benefit you. Okay. It's not me first benefiting you. Oh, you would, it's, you, typically the, when you're meeting somebody, it's like, oh my God, I'm a, I'm a videographer. Do you need a videographer? That's, that's like the most common making friends. Minnesota, okay. Ohio, Maine, Vermont. What's uh, New Orleans? You know, you cannot but, just like a person for who they are. Yeah, and then the, in the DMV, when you meet somebody, if if you meet someone and you think they're cool, the first question typically is, "What do you do?" Okay. It's not because I want to know; it's because I need something from you. Okay. And I need to. I, need to I don't out, want to waste my time. And I have to figure out what it is they need from me. So, like, the idea is, the friends that I have in my life are the ones that aren't looking for a reason to hang out with me. Okay. They just happen to be... To just hang out. Yeah. They're just like, okay. okay. If, if we hang out, something that's cool is going to happen because we're friends. Like, I didn't come here thinking that we're going to sit here smoking cigars and making a podcast. I just wanted to come hang out with someone that I... Ha I've been seeing you in a long time. And we have similar interests because we keep up with each other. And we film sh Yeah. All the f***ing time. Mamma mm -hmm. mia. Okay. So you say that the reason here is mostly because of uh, the needs. Yeah. It's a need. I necessity. Need, I need necessity, not wasting time. Okay. Yeah. If okay. you happen to be my friend as, as well, and <laughs> Like, my one of my good friends, best friends, the okay. person I said I, I would call my, my best friend right now is King Marino, because, you know, he loves taking pictures. I love being photographed. Okay. If we're, if we're hanging out and not doing that, we're still having a great time, almost to the point where we forget that, that we should have done that. Yeah, that's, that's what we do normally. Okay. Uh, even if we're taking photos, we are making jokes, talking about things, and we're on camera because something might happen. You know, we, we might shoot a magazine cover on accident, and then we have it on camera too. And that's like the the amount of people that can't just do that normally. They all, they are going out also always for a reason. They're gonna meet a person always for a reason. Mm -hmm. Okay, they cannot just take that reason out. Though. Yeah, like me and King Arino have no reason to hang out specifically. Okay. Other than the fact that we kind of feel like hanging out, and when we do hang out, cool things happen. Got another question for you. This one you're gonna you're gonna hate. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Hit me with it. You have a girlfriend right now? No. Okay. How old are you? Thirty one. What? Yeah. Huh? How old are you? Where? I'm twenty eight. I oh. thought you were like twenty six or something. <laughs> you look like a fing <laughs> kid. <laughs> Cute. Uh I wanna look at you this when I'm thirty one. Um You thought I was younger than you? Huh? You thought I was younger than you? I was convinced you were younger than me. <laughs> Dude, I damn. love the fact that we caught it on camera. Damn, damn, okay. I, f I don't know why. I, I, I act like a different age. It's okay, my brother, my father is almost 60, he's still 20 years old mentally. That's amazing. Uh, that's, that's the way you want to be. Especially I thought down you were there. 25. Especially down there, you want to remain 20 years old always. Yeah, I was going for 25 <laughs> for you. Thank you. But, uh, question. Dating in America. Ladies in America. You ever had a girlfriend here? Yeah. Okay. There's probably gonna be some girl that's mad that I didn't call her my girlfriend. Dating in America. Why? Whenever I go out, uh, whenever I meet a girl here, I always feel like uh, I'm in an interview. Okay? Whenever I go out uh, with a girl in Italy, I feel like I'm, I'm having a conversation. Mm. Okay, does it make sense? Mm. Uh, in Italy, it's more about uh, who are you? Mm. In America, it's more about... Uh, How do you... No? I'm just joking. Probably, <laughs> probably. 
uh, it's more about uh, checking off some things. Like I, I noticed that like uh, there is always. Uh, Can I bring you home? Will my friends like you? Are you conservative? Do you do drugs? Yes, uh, like before? I always feel like uh, they have some kind of list, and there are some questions that are always the same that I get asked. Uh, and uh, I always feel like uh, there is some kind of checklist that are trying to check off. Uh, what in Italy is more about uh, do we match? It's very interesting. Mm -hmm. um, in America, people don't want to match. They're like, oh, we, we had like the same thing. Oh, why, why do I like you? No, when I say match, it's uh, are you complementary to each other? Do you actually like each other? Well, in America, it does it check specific things. Mm. In America, it's kind of, it is. A lot of people, I, I should include myself in this, but a lot of times it's like, oh, you like me? I think I'm gonna like you because you like me. And then eventually you're like, oh, I don't really like you anymore because that it changed. Like if a girl comes up to you and was like, oh my God, you're, a, you're fucking gorgeous. You would kind of like that, right? No. Okay, so, so you're- <laughs> so it's a, I got in front of you, no. That's, that's a good thing. That's a good thing because girls are thrown by that. It, girls are thrown by the fact that, like, if I show you attention and you don't like that, like, ooh, what do I do? What do I have to get your attention? You know. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, that's helpful. I'm assuming the way the reason that you are confused by the dating world in America is because they're just the society. Like, as soon as you show interest in somebody, they're they're gonna be like, why? It's not the interest thing. I feel like here is much more robotical. You think girls are robotic? I told you, like, uh, every time I meet a girl, like, 50% of the date is exactly always the same thing in terms of the conversation. Mm. Uh, you should try to make more jokes. Oh, I do it all the time. Okay. I do it all the time. I'm a, a very ironical, self ironic okay, a lot. Okay. Uh, not today, maybe. I don't know, in general, mm -hmm. but. Uh, like if a girl asks me what I do, I say, oh, I, I direct porn. What? That's a good answer. Right? And then I'm like, Why that's a good mean? answer. And I'm like, oh, I mean, that's I'm not, a porn that's, actor. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a videographer. That just happens to be what I do a lot of time. And then like, oh my god, really? Like, no, I'm totally. Joking. Do you come on camera? Because <laughs> yeah, so, so. they're when people hear what you do. Like, for example, if, somebody, if you no. said that you were like a real estate person, and they said, okay, show me which houses you've sold. Like, what have you sold before? You know what I say? That's a that's an Italian saying. Faccio cose e vedo gente, which means I do things and I see people. Oh. That's what I say. Okay. I don't want to be very direct about it because. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I do too many things. I what, don't kind know. Of, what kind of girls do you find yourself talking to? Oh, sh. Like, uh, if you saw a girl in public and you want to talk to her, describe what she looks like. Oh, sh. Blonde, brunette. No, there is nothing about like. Uh, nothing. No specific. There is no specific. Okay. Uh, That's good, but also so can help. It's face, it's smile. There's many things. Uh, but yeah. They're all. If you look at them, they're all different. Uh, but in each one of them, there was something that caught my eye. Okay. Yeah. 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 And uh, yeah. then it was matched by me getting to know them. Okay. okay. So you like a human. You like humans. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. I mean, they intrigue me. I like to ask a lot of questions. Um, but yeah. That's one thing I noticed on dating here, which I did not like. Mm. Uh, what about, what if we did a video where you were mic'd up, as you are now. And I'm approaching girls, so? No, just, just walking around. Okay. It's basically just, you put a microphone on yourself. And you have somebody following you the you camera. You have somebody following you the camera, and you just go do something. Mm. So do you, you mostly film alone, or you have somebody with you? Would, it, would, you, would you call this alone? Like, this, this is, is alone. alone. Yeah, this then is yeah. alone. most of my stuff is alone. So how did you do the pride thing? To help me with this. Felipe. Felipe, and, and he was you know, saying like, oh, we need to plan it. We can't do it spontaneously because I'm running too many companies. The other thing. And I was like, yo, let's plan to be spontaneous. So we planned for June 10th to be a day where we just go to DC okay. and just film whatever happens. Okay. And then it happened to be the day of the pride parade. That was perfect. And it was like, wow, this must be, meant, it's meant to be. It's serendipitous. Okay. Um, um, you know one thing, uh, uh, one thing I do not like about the English language, your insults are very simple. Mm. Meaning in Italy, I could speak for 30 minutes insulting you, <laughs> okay? We literally have a vocab, like a dictionary, apart from the Italian dictionary, just with cuss words, metaphors and things you can say to destroy somebody psychologically. Ah. It's nuts! Yeah. It's nuts! Can it's you like, tell when someone's insulting you in, in, in Italian? I mean, you can say it if he's angry. Like if someone was 
going on a, on a paragraph essay. Yeah. Would, would you be able to like, oh, you're this is the part of the part paragraph where you're insulting me, or is it the whole paragraph? The whole paragraph is an would insult. Would you know the whole thing was an insult? I mean, depending on the tonality. Okay. I mean, like uh, they, tonality start... is important. I can say. Uh, like, oh man, I would love I can say, sei una testa di cazzo. Or I could say, sei una grandissima testa di cazzo. Mm. It's the same thing. I told you that you are a dick face, but uh, okay. tonality yeah, makes so a lot of difference. One of them I can tell you're mad, and one of them you're like kind of being sly. Yes. Okay. Also, between friends, we, we cast at each other just to say hello. It's a funny thing. Hmm. Yeah, friends are like kind of savage. Yes. Yeah, Is it true that in, in France, it's better to just try? To try? Or, or should you just speak English? Should you try to speak French? Or so, should you just speak English because they I hate speak it? a little bit of French. Okay. Yeah. So, I went there, I, I, I've been to France okay, for yeah, a few too. days uh, with my, at the time was my French, uh, we can call her ex-girlfriend, but okay. I can consider her a girlfriend. She was a very nice person. I remember trying to order the menu. The waiter would notice that I was not French. Mm. And then on purpose, he would speak faster. And so I switched immediately to, 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 to English. Uh, I wanted to punch him in the face, but uh, I did not uh, because I'm courteous. So. Ah. Well, in Italy, we kind of like... So first thing, English accent on Italian, we love it. I think on a lady is the sexiest thing in the world. In I English love accent. it. English accent? English accent, like American accent, when speaking Italian, I love it. Oh, like, you okay. want to make me fall in love? Speak Italian with an English accent. Okay. I feel, I feel like girls feel this way in America about the Italian accent. Like, your Italian accent... Yeah, I take full advantage of it. Okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 no, no. Okay, yes, so, that's, so. We, that's, that's a video. And we can do it tomorrow. That's a very good point. That's a very good point, We gotta dude. see who comes tomorrow, but... Uh, yeah, dude, that's a very... You know, I mean, you saw you me at Street Meet. Oh my god, oh my god. Did you ever see me at Street Meet uh, while, while talking to, to the models and everything? Not no, really, No, because you were filming all yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, hopefully it's, it's enough people to where no one's gonna notice that I'm there. Okay. Um, I might have to wear like I, I don't tomorrow. Street me. It's not portrait me. Right. Right. Okay. I think, I think. I like that you have this paparazzi vibe. That you have 25 people around you. It is overwhelming if you do it too much, but yeah. I kind of like it. Yeah. It's funny. Especially if you had like a nice haircut or like an outfit that you wouldn't want to show off. You know. Yes. It's um. It's good for people that are spontaneous. Porca puttana, cazzo, <laughs> right here. So I think tomorrow would be cool if you were mic'd up before we got there. Like okay. if we met up like five, ten minutes before we got there. Yeah, we can do it. And then walk there, and then just like you just interact because I want to. It's basically like people people understand that I know how to be on camera. I know how to be ridiculous. I know how to make the story. But okay. if I if I make someone else's story, then it, people are more likely to watch. Okay. In your videos, is mostly mostly filming other people. Yeah. That's what I like to do. Okay. Because do you like it? Yeah. Or do you want? Would you like to be more like in the center of your videos? I mean, if I had if I had a person that filmed you, that that if I had a person that wanted to film me so bad that they were like around me all the time, like I tried to get Felipe to come today so that he could be filming us and walking around and filming us and okay. getting the B roll and stuff, but it's too busy. Um, I need someone that is m mentally where I am. Mm -hmm. Um. Like, uh, like today would have been different if, if I, if I had at least one other person okay. that wanted to come with me, because we, they would be, I would be less focused on like the camera stuff, stuff and yeah. you'll be actually focusing more on talking. Just but like right now, it's all set up. Yeah, yeah. This, this is perfect. This is perfect. Okay. This is this is what the normal YouTube vibes are these days. Like just people sitting down and talking. Okay. Um, they would rather be talking about Feature Man, like. Everyone wants to talk about feature man. Everyone wants to hear. How big is this feature man? Dude, me? it ruined everything. Why did it ruin everything? Okay, so I, this is not the place for the podcast. Everyone wants me to sit down and talk about how he like ruined my life or like I was in love with him. No, we don't have to talk about. Of course not. The reason I'm not talking right now is because this is this is finally a, a decent place. If they are watching, this is what they want to hear. Okay. Uh, to me, is the fact that people got mad at you even if you simply f were filming. Yeah, like. Like that to me doesn't make yeah, sense. Yeah, the perspective. Yeah, yeah. Why should you be the center of so much? Yeah, uh, my mistake, my biggest mistake was that I, that's that's I, I made, I, I said something on camera that I did not agree with, okay. or that I did not believe, and I did not cut it. You know, I, I, I was basically um, trying too hard to be something else. Okay. And then I put it out. I didn't cut it. I didn't. I didn't. 
I wasn't like oh the statement you told me upstairs yeah, yeah. So, okay and I was like I was like oh this is everyone's gonna agree da, 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 da. and then and then I just was nobody's gonna agree with not, not everything yeah exactly mm. so then I realized ah. what I need to do now is instead of instead of making that my channel like oh da, 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 like this thing happened it's just gotta be you know when it when it comes out naturally if if I talk about it then I'll keep it okay and I'm, this is I don't want anyone coming to my channel looking for more of that shit okay. I don't know if you're gonna film this or not. Uh, and by the way, are you good with this filming or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm having a great time. Okay. This no, is, just this is what I. This no, I'm just asking. I just wanted to see if you're if you think like you're wasting time or not. Because oh, you're filming a lot. That's what I'm asking. You're now monetized. Um, you're making money out of it. Uh, so now you can officially. It takes a while. It's ramping up. You gotta live like a f***ing rat for a while until you get to a point where it got, becomes not only self-sustainable but also compounding. I understand exactly what you mean. Mm. I started with real estate. Now I got monetized on TikTok. Uh, and again, uh, TikTok, I look at my baseline number. I do not look at my best month. I always look at what's the worst month and that is my, let's say, the mm. income I consider. The norm, the standard. Yes. Um, but back on that. Uh, as you're going up, uh, uh, and you can finally start uh, focusing on what you want to do rather than what only the audience likes. Uh, where would you like your videos to go? What, what do you actually enjoy doing the most? What format do you think you would enjoy the most doing? I like interacting with people. Okay. And especially if the people are doing stuff that's bigger than them. So you are you doing real estate? Yeah. You fix up ca cars. That's a hobby. Cars is a hobby. I want to make it a work in the future. You have, you, have, you have multiple multiple things that you like doing. Yeah. And I'm not good at either one of them. I'm not I'm not in the real estate and I'm not in the cars. Okay. So the reason I like your what you do is because I'm probably gonna learn something when I'm with you. Okay. And I'm probably also gonna see something that I wouldn't see going in, out by myself. Okay. Um. So that's what I'm trying to get closer to is it's not about the collaboration we because we're, we're friends regardless of what we do um, with on camera mm -hmm. um, so the collaboration should be like oh these people are friends that's why they're collaborating it's not okay. like it's not like we're collaborating to become friends okay so with my past <laughs> people thought that I was just just collaborating with him just to get famous because he was already kind of famous okay I mean, he's that, that like that's why if, if I was more famous than you then you would be feeling that way about me you'd be like oh um, I feel bad because people are gonna think that I'm doing this because he's famous so as long as I don't feel that about you you don't feel that about me then we're fine like uh, neither one of us is doing this cause for entertainment I'm There's having a conversation it's just being filmed that's exactly. a side thing and if I'm a, um, you know I should have I should have known three months ago that bad things might happen I, but I did as not, a consequence yeah I just didn't I didn't, I didn't know that something bad happened 50 years ago so I learned about it when the audience was learning about it okay and that's why and you chose to simply put it out I should have left the videos public I could still but I don't want any, I don't want anyone coming to my channel specifically for that anymore because you don't want your identity to be associated with that no like all the comments you want that like, to be just more like a, a niche thing yeah originally it was like oh my god this is so cute and I was like, no, it's not. Regardless of uh, how good the comment that I made, people are still going to leave comments saying, hey, food fans, or let's get started. Like, that's what the comments are, and I'm, I'm fine with it. But also, like, clearly they're not watching. <laughs> well, many people are not watching. Many people are just yeah. passively scrolling or watching or listening in the back or just zoning out. It's crazy. Some people live just for the comments. They just want to put out their rage onto people. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I put out always my opinion. It's funny how... That's another question I got for you. Why is it so hard in this country, among people, to have a discussion among two opposing opinions? And of course, the first thing you think of is politics, but literally anything, so... Because people want to be right. My best friend, one of my best friends, Gianpaolo, you probably saw him, you saw him on the podcast, he's the only one who speaks uh, extreme good English, he has no accent, he looks like a guy from K-pop even though he's Italian. <laughs> um, we are yin and yang, we are literally opposite in everything, politics, thoughts, uh, opinions, uh, taste and ladies, uh, uh, 
everything uh, and we fight we've been fighting on everything for the past uh, I'm 28 so 12 years so wow actually I met him in kindergarten even earlier so wow. I was five uh, 23 years okay we're still best friends because after every single fight sometimes we agree sometimes we agree to disagree sometimes we there's always some kind of making peace okay he is the living example of you can be friends with your opposite mm. it just requires a certain amount of uh, listening capability and uh, acceptance of the fact that you cannot agree with everybody why is it so hard here why do people get buttered and leave or call you names or try to cancel you or try to yeah or associate you with the, my best uh, guess is that a lot of people say things that they don't even know to be true, and when someone when someone challenges, they they're like, oh, they're gonna find out that I'm just speaking out of my ass. Okay. And so they just double down. Yeah, they, they, they either double down or just jump ship. Okay. Um, because people, everyone wants to be right, and then realize when I if I say something like, like cows don't produce milk, and you said, yeah they, they do. actually do, I'd be like, oh sh. I'm either wrong. Or he's the the conversations that should happen are like oh my god you're right I just re I just thought about your side mm -hmm. and decided that I was wrong that's that's how like proper communication proper arguments should now the way we do it is uh, we start a conversation we start arguing it gets very heated then we start breaking it down mm, yeah, yeah okay and then normally what happens we try to find the similar points mm. and sometimes one person turns to the other side or we just find the similarities but we agree that uh, we simply have a different opinion okay but also because every person comes from a different place like uh, yeah so you cannot really be the same on everywhere yeah like if someone said um that uh jaywalking is illegal and you're like no nah, <laughs> nah, that's nah. culture in italy there you go so you, that's that's what i mean like if someone said that if i said jaywalking is illegal and you say no it's not and then eventually we would find that middle ground i was like oh it's only illegal if you get caught that's kind of that's eventually illegal only when police there. Yeah, so that <laughs> eventually when someone realizes they're wrong because someone else has a, a contrary or contradiction, then you start to be like, oh well, well, um, okay, so um, uh, I'm I'm a right sometimes mm -hmm. when when it is illegal, and you're like, well, I'm a right sometimes when it's not illegal. Okay, 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 okay. we're we're both right. For the next Bella thing. rega, voglio bene. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll be filming all day, and you'll be part of it. <laughs> Day. Yeah, we're filming all day, but uh, if you're coming, you will be on camera and you will expose your opinions Because I already about? did About anything <laughs> That's a tough one, huh? This is okay. your, this is your time if you want to expose anything to American culture Okay, well, okay, alright, let me, I'll come, I'll come around like 8, 8.30 Okay, are you okay with eating 8.30, man? I'll try Okay, let's do 8, 8.30 The earlier the better Yeah I should Love have used, Mike. I should have been using this. Oh well. Now we know. Dun, 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 dun. The next, the next podcast we do will be a lot, a lot better. It's okay, you gotta start somewhere, dude. Okay, of, of course. I'm just making fun of myself so that I can put it in there. I don't even know how to connect the GoPro. Give me a second. <laughs> ah! Are you, are you recording? Sort of. What does sort of mean? We can sit uh, in the living room if you want. Uh, or uh, let me turn on some lights here. Let me see what we have. Never know which one it is. Ah, <laughs> uh, 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 uh. These should work. So is that side? No. Which one is it? Is it this? I always get them wrong. Try to turn the top ones on. <laughs> what the? <laughs> we probably don't need it. Huh? We probably don't need it. You think you're fine? Yeah. Just give me, let me give, let me yeah. have a last try. <laughs> I give up. I, I give up. Fuck this. Fuck this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how he will be on camera. That's my big question. Turn
If, if you had to ask a question to a Middle Eastern man, and you could ask him anything, what would you ask him? Why do middle, why do middle, why do the Middle Eastern girls don't like Americans? Oh. It's not just Middle Eastern. <laughs> Let me just mix this for a little bit. Okay, I'm back. You still filming? But outside of America, you're considered a green card. Remember that. Uh, Always remember that. However, in general of, uh, generally speaking, in terms of uh, uh, romance, uh, why do ladies outside of America not like Americans? No. Why? I'm a man, so I cannot speak for ladies. Oh, but uh, I'm trying. Uh, That's good to know. I mean, it's 2023. You never know. You never uh, know. <laughs> never know. Um, okay. Cheers. 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 This is going to be a hardcore. Okay, this is just my opinion. I'm not speaking for ladies. However, if I were to put myself in a lady, in a, for example, an Italian lady, what would I think? Okay. Number one, sir. Don't f up. Number one, don't f up. Don't f up the table, please. Don't f up the table, please. Number one, elegance. Um. Okay. Italian ladies are used to a certain outfit, the way a man presents himself, okay? Funny thing, a lot of my TikToks is teaching the average American how to dress up with basic things. You, I'm dressed up very <laughs> today, I'm in my... I was gonna say, this is like a low version of your... No, no, act. this is... I, You're casual today. Not even casual. I'm in pyjama. Like pyjamas. I'm in pyjama. Yeah, I shouldn't I am, even do this. I'm in um, my YouTube uh, outfit. Okay. Like normally when you go on a date in Italy, you yeah. are in a button up, you have right. a funky little uh, pants, you're wearing white brand new Stan Smiths mm. and a nice pair of glasses and a nice cologne. watch. Do you, have you don't really need cologne. No. Actually, another thing, uh, you'd be surprised by how many men do not actually even shower. <laughs> okay. Golly. So that's number one. Wait, so, well, how, so real quick, how many, how many showers, wait, how, how many times a, a week do you shower? Do you know? So I clean my body every day, Good. but I wash my hair properly three times a week. Okay. Uh, yeah, because I have long hair because it can f up your hair. That's but kind of a lot. Three, three a week is a lot, I think. Uh, I think a shower daily is good, but shampoo is like... It's okay. Two, it, it, at least two yeah, times a week for yeah, a Yeah, two, two three, three times is, a week. Three would be like... I have long hair. Yeah. Very long hair. Yeah. Um, so that's number one, presentation. Number two, remember when I asked you why I feel like uh, I'm in an interview when I'm dating in America? The right, same right, thing right. is, I believe, the opposite. Like, uh, honestly, I feel that uh, you are what you're surrounded with. If I feel a certain way because uh, you of are women. What you say you exactly. are a superstar. Ma vaffanculo, tu a superstar. No, it's. Uh, <laughs> So, uh, if I feel like I'm being interviewed when I'm going out with an American girl, I feel like it is the same also on the men perspective, right? Because they behave a certain way because they're used to something. Hmm. Does that make sense? So if I would feel yeah, that way, I feel like an Italian woman might feel the same with an American man. Yeah, I mean... In terms of conversation, in terms of what yeah, you're mutual, talking about. Mutual. Okay. What else? Uh, so presentation. Maybe principles. I feel like a, an American man could be seen as a different, exotic, because they never had one. Why not? But for a relationship perspective, I don't know if they would like it. That's a good point. Like, just for like a one night? Yeah. It's fun. As I like to check off, just to check off, yeah, I, I had I an American. It. Yeah. Uh, but like for a relationship, you would have to like do too much. Yeah, also because Italian women are very, so you gotta be patient as a man. Huh? I think, unfortunately, I have to be patient with any woman. It's like, uh, <laughs> think, think about the Latino culture. Uh, the Latino culture and the Italian culture are very similar. Principles, the family, the drama, the... Mm. Like, okay, if you have a Latino girlfriend, uh, you're, you don't only have a girlfriend, you have an entire family. <laughs> okay, and the same thing, funny thing, when my, when my brother-in-law got married, uh, um, I think it was his speech or my father's speech, uh, I oh, know it was uh, the um, bridesmaid speech. She, she said, you didn't only marry Francesca, which is my sister, you married the entire Yashi family. So uh, be careful. Uh, it's true. What, 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 uh, what's his heritage? Uh, he is uh, from Southern Virginia. Oh. Okay. He is, uh, is America-America. Oh, wow. Yes. Uh, 
but he's a man. He also has a southern accent. Super cool. I love it. Huh. I love it. Interesting. And where did they meet? They met at work. Oh, work in America. Yeah, work in America. Uh, here, here. So she's married to her coworker. Uh, or just different jobs now. They are in the same office, but yeah, sort of coworker. Mm, okay. That's yeah. Cool. Yeah. No. No. They. It's pretty rare. To like date your coworker and then marry them. Why? In America, you. Oh. If you date your coworker. So, no, I think it's bullshit. Oh. So, okay, most Americans have a nine to five, okay? So, two thirds of your life you spent in a fucking box, mm. okay? You're telling me that you're meeting people outside of work in most cases? No, you're not. You're meeting and you're. A lot of people use dating apps. Yes, outside of dating apps, you're probably going to meet uh, your outside significant other right. other in the office. Right. And, uh, and you're, you're, I had some. Daily experiences. I had some crazy experiences in the office. <laughs> and, uh, wow. Have you ever dated a coworker before? Uh, I didn't date, but oh. uh, yo, yo. <laughs> I've never seen him speechless before. Okay, let me tell you something. Okay. I'm not saying everybody is this way, but uh, oh, porca puttana. So <laughs> I was in the office. Uh, I was in the office, uh, and I had my uh, one of my close friends, I still talk to him sometimes, great guy, he's in his 40s, but uh, mentally, I love he's still very young. And uh, one day he pointed out how there was this girl that kept on looking at me while she was walking to get a coffee. So one day I approached her. Um, then we start talking. And this was my first impression with American dating, or at least meeting an American woman. We, we go out, uh, stuff happens. Stuff happens. Okay. I will not go into details of that. Uh, stuff happens. The, the next, next podcast. Um, as we say in Italy, we played Monopoly. Um, and then a day after, I, post, I see her posting on her social media with a ring on her finger and a potential boyfriend. I knew nothing. And this was my first experience dating in America. Mm. Uh, she seemed like uh, she was single. She never talked about it. Mm. They, and she didn't have any posts with anybody. And the day after, I see a ring on the finger. And then just to test out uh, whether she would still be interested, uh, I, but I asked her if she wanted to go out. And she was fine with it. Asked her, and then I said no in the end. But to me, that was like, where the f did I just land? What is this place? Yeah, man. Ho hopefully, hopefully the, the if ring. I, hopefully the ring what? Was a joke. No, no, it was real. It was real. Yes. Uh, Posted with the guy? Yes. Ooh. No, no, the ring was real. Oh. She was engaged. Oh. The day after, I went out with her. And... Uh, <laughs> no, no. Yo! Yo! <laughs> and I thought, like, I thought in Italian terms. Uh, yo, I'll be dead tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if this was an Italian lady, even though it was her choice and everything, mm. I would be dead Damn. because of him. Yeah, like the man it, would have probably called somebody and killed me, but uh, yeah, yeah. In, in America, a goalie is just a reason to score. What the fuck? A goalie is a reason? No. I'm saying that's what America thinks. No, but if that's if, wrong. If, if, so I mean yo, is, in America, people will say like, yo, if a girl has a husband, yes, you only have one. Compassion, oh yes, you only have it's one against one. Yeah. If she's single, it's you against the world. Well, yes, yeah, yeah. that's that's the most yeah, common but, joke. But no, I'm not saying it's right. Ah, I'm it's saying so it's a common joke. So if she, yo, if it's a joke, it's the truth. That's what I mean. It's a joke. Most, it's the truth. Most jokes are derivative of the truth. That's f***ed up. Yeah, I think that's. Up. I don't know. That was my first impression yeah. of America. I'm gonna uh, censor this, but most. I didn't hear that part. That me up mentally. I bet. That would f*** me up too. So from there on... Uh, I'll drink to that. Uh, I don't. <laughs> uh. Is that a thing that after you cheers you go... In Italy we say, chi non batte, non sbatte. Who doesn't hit the That's glass, good. doesn't hit, doesn't hit. Oh. Okay. It's bad luck. Interesting. Now you know. Now you now, know. Now know. From now on, he will do it always. When once I was taught, now I always do it. Well, Even beer. I know people. Go, 
disappeared. No, even in an elegant dinner, like oh, everybody shots. in a suit, uh, I do it a uh, little bit subtly, but I still do it. What's pinky? Like people drink, I guess, to be like elegant. That looks awful. Don't do that. Don't do that. It's like American elegance. What is this? It's American elegance. No, don't do that. It's usually with um with but a stem. If you have a glass. Like yes, when it's a stem, stem, you hold the whole glass. That's what I mean. Don't like, you worry. Yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> but yeah, that was my first impression. What else? Um, there was that. Uh, there was. Uh, no, then I mostly dated international, and then I had an American girlfriend. Uh, that's it. And then I I played around. For sure, I had my experiences. Talk to, talk to many. I don't know. Do you have a harem of women, or do you prefer to do one by one? What was? What you say? Do you do you date one by one, or oh. do you have a harem of women? Harem I, is like when you have. A, if I'm, if I'm. That's a very personal question. If I'm spending time with somebody, like personal one-on-one -on time, it's because there's no one else around. But if I'm just hanging out with you, like. Hey, let's go get some food. It's because it's probably because there's a lot of things going on. Okay. Like, I prefer it just being one person that I can hang out no, with all the time. No, you didn't get my question. You didn't I said, do you when you, with women? Do you have always a bunch of women that you select every single day, <laughs> or do you date one by one? I, I I I pledge the fifth. I, <laughs> I plead the fifth. I plead the fifth. I plead the fifth. I date I date one by one. Okay, you date one by one. I, I do. I try. Okay, okay. Very interesting. But yeah, that was my first impression. It me up a little bit about society. Then of course you don't generalize, but uh, you hear a lot of stories. Actually, why do so many men here put a ring because of fear of losing the person? Because that's what she did. Then they, they, there was an engagement, then the engagement broke for obvious reasons. So. I'm going to answer it with another question. Okay. When you date a girl, do you like girls that are being chased by other people? Like, do you want to feel like you are winning the girl, or do you want to feel like she is the only person talking to like this? You're, you're really her, her sole focus, or do you want to feel like you are winning a competition? Because with the ring, the, yeah. the, the best answer to your question is, the reason guys give a ring to like, to like not miss opportunity is because most guys want to go after the girl that like other people want, and then like win her, like win her attention, win her affection, win her whatever, her love, you know. So if you give it a ring, that's basically the only the only proof these days is like. You're the only person I'm thinking about. You're the only person I want, etc. Like okay. I want to win your affection, right? Because nowadays, if you like someone for more than three seconds, in their opinion, you they win. You know, that's, that's you're the only person they're talk, they're talking to. If you like a person for three seconds, yeah. Like when you meet someone, you're like, wow, my God, this is awesome. Let's hang out sometime. They're they're probably gonna think either you're dating everyone or you or you like me. Okay. The ring is the only way to be like, oh my God. So I win the. I, I got what I no, wanted. No, I met. So uh, I was dating a girlfriend in Italy who had parents who were not married, but they were together for fifty years. Wow. Not fifty years, sorry, thirty years. No, no and ring. they got married now because of inheritance issues. Mm, okay. Like you don't need a ring on it. Yeah, I mean that's that is. We focus on romance. Right. Like we. It has, so it's not about ah winning. Uh, no, no. You gotta like each other. And see each other in the future. That's it. That's yeah, why you get married. Yeah, I've only I've only heard of a few situations of, of people that are together that are that are not married. It's very very rare. Like it's either they don't want to they don't want to do the money thing. Like we don't want to share bank accounts, mm -hmm. or we don't want to sign a prenup. Okay. Or or we don't know where this is going. Or like people that are in the public eye. Okay. That are in a serious relationship for like 10, 20 years that yep. are not married is because. They don't expect like when you when you get married with a ring, the intention of like oh th this this could go wrong is still there. Divorce still exists. Yeah, but your job is to make the likelihood less and less and less. Yeah. Yeah. So I think people that are together. What a lot of people do is they they then become complacent. Yeah, I think if you're married with no ring, it's because you both believe with it, that it, that you are in this for the same reason. Mm -hmm. The ring is kind of like it's just confirming it. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's it, one of the one or the other needs the the, re 
a syringe of, of a, a metal piece, yes. piece of money and like a monetary thing to wear that says we're married yeah, you trust me more than anybody else okay. or you love me more than I do you see yourself married in the future hopefully okay I, you're I hopeful that's good right now. well you see yourself married which is funny a lot of people don't even I, I read the statistics that made me 60% of men are single and are not even trying in America, of young men under 30. Yeah, my, they're I, single and they're not even interested in trying. Hmm. I, I'm not sure if I'm inter interested in trying to, be, to become married anymore. I'm no, if it happens, it happens. Yeah, I'm, I'm, pr I'm praying that I'm going to meet somebody and I'm gonna be like, whoa. I, okay. I, I can't see myself without you. Right? Okay. Um, there's going to be a lot of people that are mad that I don't feel that way about them. I think if this goes out without editing, okay. then I'll be like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Or maybe it's someone in my life already that I don't still realize that I am in love with. You got to make, uh, what's the movie with the girl that tries out her all of her exes because she finds out that one of her ex will be her spouse? They made a movie about it. Like she sees the future. Oh, damn. I haven't seen the movie. Okay, I don't know. I remember a trailer about it, but... <laughs> but yeah. No, yes. Uh, okay, but 60%... Do you see yourself being married? Yes, three kids. Three kids? Yes. How do you choose three? Because that's me, my sister, and my brother. Oh, I see, see okay. myself matching so you the same. Like, um, mirror your family? Yeah, I'm very satisfied with it. Actually, that's... Yeah, I, I thought that my family was more of the standard, and then I realized that I just got f***ing lucky. Mm. I thought that a united family was normal, then I moved to America, and... Yo! <laughs> it's funny, like, Europeans watch these American movies thinking it's fiction, and then you come, you're like, uh, what's the series? Uh, I remember watching the series with my mother, uh, 13 Reasons Why. Oh, okay. Netflix. Yes, the 13 Reasons Why, and we yeah. thought... Uh, Wow, this is exaggerated. It's a serious show. And then, show. and then I listened to the stories of my brother in high school in America and what is happening and uh, people that were around him. And like, damn, this is real. <laughs> like uh, suicides, homicides, uh, um, behavior among boys and girls uh, and shit. And you're like, whoa, okay. Maybe it was a little exaggerated, but maybe it's pretty true. I don't know. Right. Yeah, but there's parts of that show that are exaggerated because it's a show. But I'm saying the concepts. Yeah, not, exactly. I'm not saying the yeah. show is a show, but exactly. the concepts. Uh, yeah, most of that stuff is like underplayed. No, no, no. It, it is all overplayed, yeah. I believe. Because there's a show. Yes. There's drugs. There is all of it. Yeah. The thing and they're is, kids. They're high schoolers, right? They're high schoolers. Yeah. But yeah, as I'm saying, like, uh, there was the, the, the show. And then I'm an Italian, I come here, I listen to the stories of my brother who was in high school uh, here in uh, Leesburg, and, uh, and then you start realizing, okay, like the concepts uh, that were put out in the show actually match the show, mm. the actual happenings. Yeah. Maybe not at the same extent, at the yeah. same hardcoreness, but uh, kind of, I don't know, it was interesting. So did you, did you think that America was uh, ridiculous before you got here? I thought, I thought America would be very similar to Italy, just in English, oh. from many perspectives. Ah, okay. Like, I honestly come with the belief that um, we're all very similar in everything. Mm. Then, you, then you start seeing that you're not. I mean, also when I lived in Ch China, has a lot of similarities with, with Italy. You've been to China? But, yeah, I lived in China for one year. Do you speak like, Chinese? No. Okay. I lived in Hong Kong. Oh, it's okay. like uh, you can choose whether you want to speak Cantonese, which is only spoken in Hong Kong, okay. or whether you want to improve your English. I chose to improve my English. Because <laughs> Cantonese... Uh, you uh, only like have like 12 languages. You don't need another one. Exactly. Like, <laughs> like 12 billion people. Sorry, let's go. Like 2 billion people in China, and uh, Cantonese is only spoken by 20 million. It's like, fuck off. I'm not learning that. <laughs> so, right. That's right. Just... Damn. And, and so when you learn English... Did you ever think that you'd be li living in America? No. I never thought it would happen. <laughs> and, uh, and I woke up one day in Loudoun County. Jeez, wow. I don't know. Like you would think New York, uh, yeah. LA, Loudoun <laughs> County. <laughs> Damn, dude. How often do you go to New York? Twice a year. Once a year. Okay. Once a year. I don't like the city. I think uh, it's glorified. Uh, yeah, yeah. LA too. I think, I don't know. It's, yeah. uh, 
Why does everybody? I mean, you were so like you were. Why do people love New York City? I don't know, man. You were a natural American, though. For to be to be somebody that's not from America that thinks that New York City is like glorified is such an American thing to believe. Why? And tourists love it because it's tourism. It's not America. It's not America. Like yeah. L.A., New York, San Fr- It's not America. Right. Like you have right. three little. Farts in the wind in yeah. a continent. In a continent. Yeah. What, what would you, that is what would not America. Where would you go if you wanted to see like quintessential Amer- America? Okay, I did a trip across the East Coast with my Italian friends. Okay. okay. To see some of the real America, we went. So the first stop, I believe, was the most American city of all, which was Fayetteville, North Carolina. Dude, I've heard of this place. I've never been there, okay. but I've heard of it. Where we got attacked by a crackhead. Oh. Half naked. He looked like Gollum. Black or white? Huh? White. Oh, okay. Wow. Uh, he looked like Gollum. Literally looked like Gollum. He started <laughs> screaming at us. And it was oh funny because my... my <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, I said, uh, to that extent. Uh, <laughs> and it was funny because uh, they were freaking out. And I was looking at them like, okay, maybe we should park somewhere else. But that was very chill. Like, they were freaking out, my friends. That was one. That is, I consider, real America, which is all these little towns that nobody knows about. Right, right, right. Okay. Because North Carolina is not a well-known place. No. I mean, but it is. What's Charlotte? What do you have in North Carolina? Charlotte. Yeah, Charlotte. Uh, Myrtle Beach. I have never heard no, of it. Myrtle Beach. Beach uh, sorry. Um, what's the name? Myrtle, Myrtle Beach. No, uh, Outer Banks. Outer Banks. Outer Banks, Banks. Outer Banks yeah, North Carolina. Right. Or South Carolina. North Carolina. I, think I, it's North I Carolina. forget. I think it's North Carolina. Okay. Because it's not too far from here. That was that. Then we went to Charleston and Savannah. Oh, Savannah's good. Are they very American? I feel they're more American than New York and Los Angeles. Mm. Yeah, they're melting pots. They're cute. New York is a melting pot. Yeah, they're cute places. Los Angeles is a melting pot because, I mean, you you can go to Los Angeles and see anyone. Like, the whole, all the weirdos are in L.A. Yeah. And most of them are also in New York. That's why you said you want to go there, because you can film literally the weirdest sh** happening every day. Yeah, I'm not weird in L.A. I'm normal. In D.C., I'm weird. In D.C., you're weird? In D.C., I'm weird. D.C. is pretty... Not really, man. I mean, carrying a camera around that's not, like, for a business... And you're strange. ...is weird. Oh, so it's... Okay. If I, if, if someone saw me with this camera and this equipment... They'd be like, what, what are you filming for? And I would either lie and say the news, and then they go, oh, cool. Or I'd lie and say YouTube, and they go, oh, cool. Like, you, you never know until you, if you it, I can lie and say it's going to go in the news because they would believe me. It looks like it could be for the news. Is there any YouTubers, like big YouTubers in D.C.? Not that I, probably, I just don't know them because I'm not, like, in the YouTube community, like, with all these other YouTube. Like- On TikTok, you'd be surprised by how many <laughs> people especially from America, keep on asking me of all the places, why did you choose Virginia? Mm. Sorry, because like, it's like, you, I mean, when Italians, Italians are notorious to go to LA or New York, mm. Miami. Well, I was gonna say. Miami also. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say, Miami. But, but yeah, like, if you, did, if you didn't choose Virginia, that's more obvious. I mean, my, my family was already here, so right. that was the main reason. Yeah. But uh, now that I'm here, the more I travel around America, the more I like this place. Oh, man, that's so weird to hear because like, Yo, Virginia is the kind of place where you have to leave Virginia in order to realize that it's nice. Yeah. If, it's, you, if you stay here too it's long. It's clean. It's nice. People don't bother you too much. There's <laughs> not too many crackheads here. Yeah. I mean, unless Although your you neighbor could be a uh, yeah, politician, which uh, they go very good hand in hand here. Mamma mia. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's funny, like when you see on the news, ah, this guy got arrested. Yo, they're all criminals. Chill the yeah, like, yeah. I don't care whether it's left or right. They're all let's criminals. do. Let's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna see if this works. Ready? We're gonna look up. Well, on Twitter, if there's any, if there's any popular trending topics that we're gonna, we're gonna see if we know any of them. Ready? Okay. Okay. So, well, this is obvious. Yankees at Red Sox. That's who's. Let's see who's winning. I don't even. Uh, baseball. I know nothing. Yankees are up by three. Oh, sorry, down by three. The, the Red Sox are winning by three. That's awesome. Um. Oh, Instagram is down. That's good. F- Instagram. I hate you, Instagram. Oh, but I it was a big four following. hours ago, so Instagram. it might be it might be up in there now. Okay. I think it's back. You, you want a trending topic? Go on Andrew Tate. Oh, on what? On his where? On his Twitter. His Twitter. Okay, yeah, okay. true. Let's see what Tate has been saying recently. Okay, can I ask you a question? Because I'm European. Okay. Okay, that's a fucked up question. You gotta be careful. You can choose whatever you want to cut or not. <laughs> Why is Andrew Tate so hated in America? That's a, um, 
that is a that's the wrong way to ask the question. Why? Um, that's kind of like when people ask me. Oh, that is a that is a. I'm 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 expecting a specific answer because I'm gonna, okay. Well, let so, me ask you a question. Yeah. Let me rephrase it. Okay, Andrew Tate. Now he lives in Romania. He's in Europe. Romania oh, is a very arrest. huh. House arrest. He's in house arrest, oh, yes. In Romania. In Romania. But he, in he always lived in Romania. He, he lives in Romania. A full time, probably. Full time, he's in Romania. He's, he's not always there. He, he wasn't before. He travels, he travels, but he lives in Romania. Yeah, yeah. That's which where he is a, lays it is a very conservative country in terms of values oh. and everything. Okay. Um, many of his values uh, are very European oriented, generally speaking. Okay. Okay, now I'm not saying they're all true. Right. Uh, I'm not saying I agree with, uh, I disagree with many of them. Because, yeah, these days. However, they're very European. These days, when you say, why do you think people hate XYZ? The best answer is because they're out there. Because they're out there. They're out there. Okay. The people that are. Let me ask, okay, let me rephrase it then. So, what are the key points? uh, that make him hated. What are the main points that make him a hated person? What do you believe? Uh, I think he's his tone. I think he's kind of like Donald Trump, getting girls to like be cam girls and stuff. That's <laughs> tough. So I think a- Andrew Tate's problem is um, wording. No, it could th- sometimes. Or I think his wording sometimes, sometimes is. Um, it's like if you are very easily, so he he believes that he's helping people. So, if you're helping somebody and you believe you're helping somebody and you and then they believe you're helping them, it doesn't really matter what some stranger says. Some yes. stranger says because if you say, "Oh, Taylor came here to help me shoot a video," and I say, "Yeah, I came here to shoot a video," but the internet says, "No, you're you're using him for views for his fame." Is that true? Kind of. I mean, it's a it consequence of a partnership among co- yeah, it might among be. things. Did I think I was going to get famous by making a video? No. Do I, do I think, personally, did, it, did Andrew, Tate, Andrew Tate think that he was um, doing the wrong thing? Probably not. That's why he's I so... I don't think he thinks he's... That's he's right. right. That's why he's so adamant about being right. And yeah, he has so. like... But there's a thing. There's principle also. So you have principles? I think I think so. Okay, there are some principles that principles, yeah. principles, principles are the foundation that make your character you. Okay. Okay. Um, principles are the thing that you will never change about yourself. Uh, okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. There are some things that aren't spoken. Yeah. I'm a very chill person, but I'm also very vindicative. If you f- up my principle, mm. you're fucked. Mm. Okay, you're right. really fucked. Yeah. I can do things you don't want to know. <laughs> yeah. Nothing hurtful, mm-hmm. just psychological that you will feel a sh- person mm. for a while. If I make a video for you and you don't promote it or share it or you're not, you're not proud of it, then I'll make sure that we don't ever make videos again. That's my vindictive, that's my vindictive personality. Okay. If I offer you value and you don't see it as value, then I'm not going to offer you value anymore. Okay. No, what I'm saying is uh, but I only am like this when my principles are attached. Principles are what makes us uh, us, uh, and uh, they, I don't think they shouldn't be changed. There's nothing wrong with them. Maybe your principles could be f***ed, uh, but you're entitled to your own principle. Mm. It's like an opinion. You're entitled to be you. So that thing. And people like it or not, I mean, the, the internet, the problem is, uh, is accentuating everything. Like, if you look at my comment section, oh my god. <laughs> On TikTok? I mean, I'm thankful for it, because most of my bad comments are the ones that inspire my videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the one of the hardest things is to invent content, but sometimes it drains you a little bit. It's crazy. Yeah. Oh, people are literally wasting so much time on a screen, just <laughs> putting out their anger. You yeah. feel that like people are actually angry at you, or they're just angry at their life? Yeah, I, I try to. I try to explain to people: if you get a negative comment and you spend your whole day making a video about that negative comment, then they got what they wanted. You're not even getting what you want. What you want is to. Stop the negativity, negativity by, by bringing light to it. But giving, giving them a spotlight for their negativity is going to show other people that not only are you focused on it, 
But you're gonna if they do it, they might get their shit in the spotlight too. But the negativity is what inspires the most. Sometimes, sometimes. Uh, for me, it's most of the time. Sometimes. My my video is about bringing light on certain topics. Yeah. Like I talk about economics, I talk about politics, I talk about society, I talk about culture, mm. and normally I get a back comment and I need to prove you the other side. I need to show you the other side. Yeah. So that's where I get most of my inspiration. Like if I had to sit and think about 20 videos every day, holy shit, I, can, I wouldn't be able to do it. I, I wouldn't yeah, be able to do it. Yeah, hopefully when you're making 20, if you're making 20 videos a day, the intention is that you're not even counting. I'm not even counting. Yeah, you're just like, oh, well, here's another one, here's another okay, one. Okay, at the end of the day, I count, uh, I'm always above 10. Wow. That's, uh, Damn. Yeah. Well, they, well, did no, we no, 10 today? I got another couple of hours. Yeah. Normally I prepare my Italian ones at the end of the day. Let me ah, see. Okay. Let me see. Allora. Okay, oh, we got. Nice. Uh, we got. Uh, one, two, three, four. No, today we got eight. We're oh. missing two. But yesterday we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let me look at this. We got. Uh, this was yesterday. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, wow. eleven, twelve, thirteen. Wow. Fuck. Well, yeah, I I post a lot. Mm. I, I miss miss I miss seeing that. What? Nine, nine, nine plus. All the time. I I, yeah, it. when I when I was doing well, and I would open my TikTok and it wasn't nine nine plus, I'd like. What What is wrong with it? Excuse me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I, I, I must have been looking at these notifications too no, much. Oh, yes. It's, uh, Cause there, was, there was a time when I would, I would look at them and then refresh it, it would go back to like 70 something. But this pisses me off. What? Uh, this, this thing here and this thing here, you have to click the button to see your act. Like, it used to be better with just so much of it, you have to scroll. I prefer that. No, I like it separated. It's uh, easier to, to uh, check it out. Because then your DMs are in the and same area. Yeah, then also another thing I did, I allowed everybody to text me, then I can select yeah. who I want to respond to or not. Yeah. Which is nice. Yeah. But yeah, I love that app. I love that app. I'm going to be... So I, I'm... Oh, you already have TikTok. Yeah, I got the TikTok on there. That was back when I had like 150K. Fuck. Um, I think TikTok is a must. Yeah, yeah. Especially when so you're now it's TikTok and YouTube, Instagram, maybe maybe Rumble if it's gonna. Yeah, I need to get on Rumble. You know why I like Rumble? I do not like Rumble as an app. I like Rumble that is growing every day. That is now starting to keep YouTube on its toes. Mm. Especially Meaning, Twitch. As Rumble is gaining more subscribers, YouTube is lowering its um, um, how you call it? Uh, no. YouTube is lowering the amount of control they have over videos uh, in terms of banning videos. Wow. They're releasing more and more stuff. They're allowing you to do more and more because Rumble is getting more and more. Because Rumble is literally no filter. You could. You can do anything you want, pretty much. I mean, there's certain things you cannot, but. Uh, <laughs> Are you but, on Rumble? Huh? Or you just watch? I have a Rumble account, but, oh. I'm, uh, but it's not growing. I'm, I, I should repost more. I should, uh, I have, you know what, uh, what's the name? Uh, there's the AI that uh, downloads the repost around. Oh. Uh, Repurpose.io. Damn. It's a pretty cool app. Huh. I, should do, I should do more AI, but my, my, my lifestyle is what AI is coming in for. You know what I mean? Like AI is trying to. No, I'll tell you why. Yeah. So if you are a genuine, uh, real person. Yeah. I like how you said if. Huh? I like how you said if. As if, like, the, the, you know. If you're a genuine real person, that actually means uh, with every single word what he says. Like, he, he really believes in what he says. Uh, AI will never take the job. Because uh, AI might give you ideas or things, but if you're open at saying what you think, if you're open at studying and backing it up with things and having a conversation, people see you having a conversation, nobody will beat the naturality of that. AI is coming for the lazy people. Okay. So AI True. is coming for those 90% of office jobs that, uh, you know, many times I right. did a job and I'm like, what the fuck am I doing here? A nap could take over. Right, this. right, like, right. Uh, like, what the fuck? Like clicking buttons. All the data entry bullshit. Yeah. The people, the like Joe Schmo doing absolutely AI can't can do this, what we're doing right now, technically. They could, uh, but you could see it. Uh, right, right, right. It'd you be could, you robotic. could see it's robotical. You could see it's robotical. I don't know. You ready to go cook a little bit? Yeah, let's go. Uh, let's. The next segment is gonna be a cooking, cooking with a medeo. Ciao bambini. <laughs> ciao bambini. Ciao, 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 ciao.
para pa pa ra pa 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 ra ra I like anything top 40 Top 40, okay yeah, like the, you know, billboard stuff, but that's yeah. like common Most so people do There's nothing wrong with it It's commercial because it's good I'm big into techno Oh, you should play gang gang At what time we said tomorrow? 6 Yeah, yeah So what's the plan for tomorrow? How are we gonna... We're gonna meet earlier, you're gonna put a camera well, what do I have to do? Honestly, sometimes I wish I some situation like natural things will be filmed on my life. Yeah, exactly. That, Let's see what happens. That's like the most difficult not everything I feel like some things on my life should not be filmed, but uh, yeah, true. welcome to the one minute podcast. Ciao belli. What's a hot topic would be the bricks. Seriously, what, what do you think? Where is that going? About bricks. So you're talking about uh, Russia, Brazil, China, all these economies. Coming India, together. yep. Okay, you, you think it's gonna happen? You think it's gonna beat the current system, the US dollar? Oh, yeah, because I, I think these are strong economies you're talking about. Why do you think it's a strong economy? One, it's in a war and it's f***ed up, but China is pretty much failing on all of that. Yes, they own Africa, but uh, they're failing on that. Brazil is insignificant, and we still buy all the and petrol. And we're comparing US them dollar. with which, which great economy? <sighs> US is not the best, but it's better than most. They're all equivalent, man. You're talking about US, they're in debt, trillions, trillions, trillions of dollars, man. They, they're printing cash. No, there's no more, there's no value to their money at this point. Yeah, but everybody's still buying the petrol yeah, in but US dollars. That's why I'm saying BRICS is the new hot topic where it's gonna kill the USD dollar. Why do you think it's gonna happen? Like, you think that uh, it's gonna be enough money piling together going against the US dollar? What do you think? Oh, yeah, definitely. Especially okay. if the Middle East joins with that. Okay, how much do you think the petrol has to do with this? G gas? Yes. It's a big, uh, it's a big factor into this. Okay. But uh, it's also, it's not just gas. It's, uh, doing bricks is not just about gas. It's about proving uh, who's the, who's the leading uh, group. Yeah. Who is the bigger D on the table? Okay, I still don't think it's them. Look at the way they're governed. Okay, we can say Middle East is the most advanced of all of these economies, or for sure. It's also governed differently. But Russia. Not advanced, it's a different type of economy than they have. I don't think they're. No, Russia has been in war with Ukraine. Europe is dying to stop that war. Nobody Europe can. is recovering. Yeah, but Europe is dying to stop that war, and they can't. Okay. So that means Russia is a power. Okay, l listen to what I think will happen. America is dying to stop the war, and they can't. That means Russia has power. Whether we agree they're winning the war listen. or not, who's, what's the conclusion of the war, but there are great powers who don't want this war to happen, and it still continues. So, I believe that this war is more personal to the president we have right now than to the actual United States, okay? has been proven there were some general interest in general, but I don't want to go deeper into that. Yeah. I believe that the next election, we will not have Biden. I'm not you saying we will have... Uh, huh? I don't even think Kamala will be there. I think that the Democrats will find a more moderate candidate mm -hmm. to compete with whoever will be on the other side, Trump or somebody else. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. Fact is, we will not have Biden. Whoever will be there next, uh, I believe, will finish the war as soon as they can. If it will be Trump, it will probably be immediate. There will be some kind of peace treaty. So you guys lived in the U.S. You've been here for a while. I'm going to answer your question with, a, with a, another topic. Every time before the election, two years. Two years before the elections, right? Yeah. You already know all your candidates. Yes. Yeah. Do we know all our candidates? No. So far? No. Loss of power, my friend. No new generation to take on this government. I'm, I'm serious. It's a problem they have. It is, yes. It, it, is, a it is a problem. Whether p media focuses on it or not, it is a problem in this country. They don't even have elect presidents. Oh, this would be. We usually know who are the main candidates two years, and we're already like deciding, oh, whether it's Obama or this, or whoever was in the past, like I'm 10 years, sure especially as Trump. we mature. I'm pretty sure it will be Trump on one side. The problem but, is the Democratic yeah, side, but where we need to find somebody else. So. Trump, is it really a candidate? Can you really guarantee he's going to be a candidate? Like, with Trump his status, his Trump name, like, with his the only reputation at this point, like, that's a president? Trump or DeSantis? Yeah. It's just, it's just it's their, let's say, uh, battle horse, pretty much. Throughout history, there are great powers. They take lead, they get to a peak, they, they end and up they falling. fall down. All right? Okay. America got to its peak, it's falling down.
Is that That's what planning? I believe. That's you what I believe. That, you think yes. that Russia is going up? There are great powers who were able to maintain their peak for a certain age. America, I don't believe, were able to maintain it for a certain age, and now they're going down. If you do put this, uh, send it to me so I can see it. it no. What the fuck do you mean? That would be such an asshole move of you if you don't send it to me. Oh, continue. He wants to like, continue. I want to continue. Right? Up to you. Okay. Yeah. You have something to start? statistics. Okay. China declining population. China is in heavy debt. It's not only America. Russia. China's what? China is, has a declining population. They have a declining population com, uh, problem right now. Okay, that's huge. a big problem, yeah. That's a huge problem. Declining population is the number one reason that shows that leads to a decline of uh, the country. Okay? And it's worse than the United States. Uh, Russia has the same problem. Brazil is getting to that point. What is the declining population? The declining population is that your total population. Yeah, is but what it represents to you? Like, China is the biggest population, declining. Even if they decline by it's half, they're still a that big population. The system cannot maintain the older population that is a aging. There are people, there's not enough worker to replace the workers they have now. Okay, so debt, I see, okay. And their economy is down by a lot. Last year, the biggest real estate developer. Okay, but again, I'm gonna answer you the same thing. Who are you comparing it to? I'm comparing the United States. Which and what does the United States... United has the same problem. Not as much. What's your scale of not as much? If the percentage is so not as much? The United States consumes... The percentage more. is not as much? The percentage is not as much. Is that a statistic or is it just an assumption? Because that it makes a big statistics. difference. Okay. It is a statistic. So the US economy, yes, is not super strong as it was four years ago, but it is definitely stronger and in a positive path compared to China. I agree. China okay. Let's say I, I don't know your statistics, your numbers, but let's say I do agree with you and I see where you're coming okay. from. Russia is what has day. made America strong for this, let's say, 100 years? I want to say the last 100 years. The army. The army. And their allies, right? Army and their allies. Okay. I think allies is a bigger role than army because their allies, is get, they gave, they were their back support, you know? Yes. All right. But we're seeing signs America's losing their allies. Yes. That will destroy it. But I... America. That will destroy America, yes, though. But let me go back. Oh, go back. Okay, he's losing his allies, but why? Because the current administration is not doing foreign policy. Man, the not foreign the policy of today's administration is extremely bad. Extremely bad. Okay, you say the f current. Uh, Obama was okay. better. Obama. Obama. Okay, but let's compare the last two, right? Yes. Trump. Yes. Different party than Biden, right? still didn't create good relationship. Even through his uh, time, he was losing allies. Trump was actually, allora, Trump was respected by Putin. Was respected by Putin. It, Putin is not an ally to wait, America. Uh, wait, We're talking, talking about, about allies. allies. What makes okay. America strong is their allies. Okay. Putin is not an ally. Okay, let me go back. Okay, let's talk about allies. Trump was the guy that- America and Russia and China, whether they all, what, it's America and uh, versus China and Russia. Whether they sit on one table and ever ha shake hands, yeah, and say we're friends, they'll never be friends. They will never be friends okay. by history. So, the, so Trump being in a good relationship with uh, Putin. with Putin doesn't mean anything to America. It, can, it can means mean we're, avoiding it a war. means we're like, gonna avoid it, the war for the next four or five years. Yes, because this where it goes like it go to a concept where the war is going to have to happen at one point. Okay. There is a war that's going to have to happen between yes. them. And this is my own belief. Like, this is just my personal belief, my assumptions, my own story making. Yes. Uh, you get me? My own... S I think a war is going to have to happen at one point. So Trump was just... A war will happen at any point. Uh, and Trump was just like, hey, let's not do it my Trump time. Was just in, let's he was make me look good. Let's make he you look... Slower. Yeah. He was All right. stopper of what would have happened anyway. Biden just destroyed more. At least Trump had the Middle East kind of with him, but they were, they were getting fed up because of like the... Biden, Middle East is not even answering his phone. No, they don't. Middle East Europe is, is kind of hating on Biden. Europe is also... And then I believe whoever comes next is going to... Um, it's gonna show, it, it's gonna continue the same results with I their think allies. They're gonna revert it because you can clearly see in the numbers that also America and all this, uh, to some degree, is suffering and will be suffering in the future. Yes. So which means number one, number two, one thing that Putin said a long time ago, which was very interesting. See, he said, because uh, uh, I'd like to watch news on all this. Okay. Side. All right. Okay. Putin said, I met many American presidents. I saw many American presidents come by. They all come with beautiful ideas. 
until the guys with the suits come in and tell them all about the bureaucracy of America and they're not able to do anything. Okay. Okay. This is I'm glad you I'm I'm glad you said this though. Why? Because this means no pro no matter what no party president, no president can really do too much. Okay, so okay. there's a people in the suit, which are the same people I'm assuming throughout this time. They control the concept, right? They control. So it doesn't matter who's gonna be now Wait. taking the lead. These people in the suit that you're talking about finish. will haven't been able to maintain their allies. Let what will change? Let me finish here. Okay. They're running a different suit. So every single president, of course, can focus on. What it means with this is that every president cannot do everything they promised yeah. and focus on some things. Trump, uh, on his uh, diciamo thing, uh, focuses a lot on foreign policy. Trump, Trump yeah. Korea, Korea, Kim Jong-un, Trump, Putin, respect. Trump, Middle East, uh, there actually was some degree There was some degree of, of respect. respect. Yeah. There was some degree of No, no, 100%. And he, he even made MBS. Trump and NATO, Trump actually was one of the guys that uh, enforced uh, the the, the payment of NATO of all the, the, the states. Okay. Okay, because many states, including Italy, my state was not paying their fair share in NATO. Trump came and said, guys, this should be a team, we should all pay together. They paid Trump, it. Trump, definitely some increase. You think Trump will come back? I don't think he will come back because the problem of Trump is very polarizing. But I believe that whoever will come next, whether it will be Democrat or Republican, and I will take decide, that lead. Will understand that the main problematic of America today is foreign policy. Why were gas prices high? Because you had a foreign policy that did not back up the gas production you had now. Okay. Um, why? Cioè, Europe, which is your ally, because of the war has been a lot. You need to fix that, or else you're gonna lose Europe on what you said on BRICS. Cioè, it is. You gotta see it as a from the potential side of America. If I know that in the future I have the risk of Europe turning sides, I saw Macron talking to China, okay? Then maybe I should do something about it. At the but end, you do but about now it. on a serious conversation, let's go like at a uh, notch top, whatever they okay. call it, yeah? We, w we don't know. We don't know. I really, we don't know. Because it's like me, this is my opinion, I'm assuming your yes. opinion. But we really have like a good next 10 years of good action, let's say, yes. like good. Uh, Good oh, things to follow. If everything and goes badly, I'm going to Qatar. It, it's, a, it's not, I, I we don't know, because it might be bad there too, but it, it is a very tough like spot where I okay. believe we're at, right? Like, so the, the, I think that's a good conclusion to have. Because what? If everything goes badly, I see you in Switzerland. Yeah, there. It's the safest place in the world. We ended the conversation. We ended the conversation? Huh? Yeah, End it with them. Thanks for watching. If you want to continue this conversation, have questions about it, follow me on Yashi Project uh, on TikTok. Peace out. Oh, ciao. <laughs> <It's> a, <laughs> my name is Armani. 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 I like Armani. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like the brand. We like it. Armani. Well, my, my, my Armani. 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 Pizza al taglio, which here doesn't exist, uh, I think it's stupid. We literally, it's not even a pizzeria, like um, so it's a hole in the wall, so the, and the pizza is pre cut, uh, and they okay. give it to you in a, in a piece of uh, like this plastic wrap, uh, and you eat it like a kebab while you walk. Okay. Oh, they don't nice. have it. That's nice. Yeah. Well, so here you have to walk around the thing, and I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's beautiful, but. I don't know. Yeah. yeah, the box is not convenient. Ah, so do you like ah. a, do you like a pineapple and ham on your pizza? Or? Every time you eat pineapple on pizza, an Italian dies. F you. <laughs> well, I was wondering, like, how do you get signed with the artist agency? I just showed up. I had an Italian accent. I told them I work for Armani, and they're like, "You're in, okay?" Oh, okay. okay. Wait, you work for Armani? So my first photo shoot ever. Yeah. And that's why I got into modeling. Yeah. Was with Giorgio Armani. Because uh, his team uh, st literally stopped me from my college. Yeah. And then they invited me like three months later for the spring summer campaign. I did a photo shoot, I loved it. And the moment I moved to America, yeah. first thing I did I was signing up uh, with, uh, with an agency. I would like to work in New York, but I have mixed feelings because it's mm. too f far away. Yeah. I think it's to the right. Yeah, yep. Ah. I parked right next to it. You saw my little car. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I followed you too. Uh, infinity money. Yeah. Okay.
You have a private account. Yes, sir. Who are you trying to hide from? Um, everyone. Yeah. Your ex. Your ex. <laughs> oh. Explain. Explain. Everyone, You're a everyone. content creator. You have a private account. Oh no, no, not yet. I'm on the come up. You know. Okay. I'm not a content creator yet. <laughs> mm -hmm. It doesn't make sense. To be private. Un Unprivate it. Unprivate it. Un <laughs> Unprivatize it. I, I don't know. I don't know. I get paranoid. You know. I would make a very yeah, bad joke, but it's better not to make it because he's filming and. I'm scared. <laughs> that camera is pretty big though. It's not like you're walking around in a GoPro. That's a cool outfit. That is a cool outfit. That is a cool outfit. He's not hearing me. That is a cool outfit. Damn, we can literally park here. That's cool. Milan. Of all the places you should go in Italy, Milan is not one of them. Where is he? His birthday. We're not part of it, but happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. Oh, we'll be around, we'll be around. See, you're saying he just films around and looks what pops up. It's amazing. I don't know if it started or not. By the way, is the mic on? Are you sure the mic is on? Can you confirm? Prova, prova. Porca la puzzola. They're filming, they're filming here too. We got a, we got a colleague here. There's a lot of sh** going on. How are you? Yes. Hey. How are you? Hey, ciao. How are you? Do they have a something? Where can I throw this around? Give me a second. Excuse me. We made it. Mwah. Brother. Brother. What's the plan? You gotta tell me what's the plan. There's no plan. You'll talk to people. Huh? Who do you want to talk to? Uh, uh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you? No! No, that's what I realized. No, no, it's no, okay. I'm not, I'm not what did you realize? I just realized you have the. Um, he has the. The, 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 filming yeah, the filming ribbon. Yeah, the filming ribbon. Yes. I just that. Maybe I've been filming you while you yeah, were filming know, me and right? you don't know about it. Well, now <laughs> Which one? Right here. Yes, yeah, elegant. Is, yeah. Very elegant. Oh, you said that already? Yes. You were in Say Hi? Ah, huh? give me a second. Let me just oh, go I'm around. Turn off for a second. No. It's stressing the fuck no. out of me. I'm not used to it. With you. A, I've been screaming at you a mile away. I love your outfit. And you were walking like America. not giving a shit. <laughs> I love it. What's your name? Joel. Joel. Yes. Amedeo. Amedeo, like Mozart. I'm, it's oh, a I'm fucked up name. I know, I know. It's very hard. I'm sad. I'm mad. I don't have a pocket square today, but I just put my glasses in there just be, just for the sprezzatura element, sort of thing. But you know. Actually, okay. Sprezzatura is an Italian word, right? Yes. What does it mean? So sprezzatura. Uh, I'm Italian. I don't know what it means. So sprezzatura is basically a. Um, it's a sort of like a nonchalant sort of thing. Like not giving it's, a crap. Yeah, it's, no, not necessarily. It's like, okay, it's elegance, but okay. with the element, but with a with a, a pinch of nonchalance. Like say for example, right? Okay. I'm wearing a three-two rollover jacket, right? Okay. I could wear it like a three-button, but I choose not to, so that I could, so that I could just wear it as a two and keep it. Moving. Okay. On there so, so it's little things. Relaxed. It's it's little things. Yeah, it's making your style approachable. Yeah. I get it normally on my comments on my social media. Ah, that's prezzatura. I never know what the hell right. they're meaning. Yeah, yeah. Buongiorno. Are you guys new here? Photography or models? Both. You're gonna love it. Is it your first one? So it's basically your first one. Okay. Well, let me salute everybody. But welcome. I see you everywhere, I never met you. Oh, I'm Sarah. Amedeo, pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. Ciao. I see her everywhere, we everywhere. Like huh? I don't know how this matches, but okay. Uh, Maybe I'm color blind. And orange and blue. Okay. Oh, She's more it. perfectionistic than I am, for sure. <laughs> Ciao, ragazzi. Y'all match. Is that intentional? No, it was not. No, we, we just, just show up. Fucking phenomenal. Three ICs. She, he saw it too, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Her eyes and her bow. 
and her makeup and your eyes. Holy <laughs> fuck, what is this? Super intentional. Yeah. Planets aligned. We, did, we just didn't know about it. You get some free Italian ice if you want it just because of your heritage and because you always come from. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. Do you know that I'm Italian? Huh? Do you know that I'm actually Italian? I read Italian eyes. Okay. Do you know that I'm Italian? It? So be careful. <laughs> <laughs> be careful. Yeah. Is so it? The flavors we have is mango, cherry bomb, and we also have like a sour apple. Uh, green, a green I'll do mango. Apple. mango. Enjoy. Grazie. You're welcome. Thank you. Mango gelato. Oh. What does it taste like? Uh, it's it mango ice. Yes, <laughs> mango ice. Basta. I didn't know you were filming everything. It's <laughs> getting the crap out of me, brother. Okay. Just let me get let me get used to it for a second. I never done this. Porca la put. Jimmy DC, come on, let's get over here real quick. I got some shit I gotta say. <laughs> In the middle! In the middle! Yo, come on the front. Come in the, oh, you're gonna come in the front. Right, one, two, three. Sweet DZD! There we go. Filming are you picturing? I'm recording. No, I'm just recording. Recording. to walk away from the perfect Okay. Oh, what's your Instagram, by the way? Amedeo underscore Yashi. If you want to write it, because uh, it's impossible to write. <laughs> no, he, oh, give me that. <laughs> Don't you? <laughs> because I keep thinking, because I was thinking I'm a big, and I was like, hey. Amadeus, Amadeus. Give me a second. Give me a second, let me add. What's the plan? That is me. Pronti? Okay. Yeah, good. Pronti? Are we shooting? Yes, Let's shoot! Okay. All right. Pronti? Shooting. What's your name? Peter. What's Peter, your name? Amedeo. Nice to meet you. Uh, maybe not here before we get. Uh, you wanna go there? Yeah, okay, andiamo, 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 andiamo. Tara! Oh! Oh! Where? Pronti? Sara, Sara, Sara! I'm so nervous, she's famous. <laughs> I'm not famous, oh my god! <laughs> Don't you have more followers than I do? No, it's just a number. I can't see very well, but I assume that it's good. I do not you see can anything. Look there and... It's fine. <laughs> okay, okay. Let me put it here. Let me what? Tell me your name one more time. Amedeo. Amedeo? Amedeo. Like Amadeus, Amadeo. Amadeo, like Mozart. Okay, Amadeo. Okay, Very I'm simple. Say one thing. Don't you worry, everybody does. Okay. San, 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 san. Do you normally create your projects uh, or do you just follow what the photographers say? Um, like with posing or the whole shoot? No. I mean, all the things I see popping up on Instagram. Is it like all ideas? I direct of? probably about half of those, if okay. not more. A lot of them are my concepts, but I work with a lot of photographers that okay. already have concepts too. Give me a second, guys. You good? Give me a second. I gotta take out the glasses and become blind for a second. Are they prescription? No. Oh. <laughs> Watch your feet, but bring uh, both of y'all feet out. Oh. A lot. oh. <laughs> it's a third. Yeah, maybe smooth. It's two <laughs> thirds. Come over here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a caca. A lot of feet up. Okay. What do you want? Mm -hmm. What really is it? Okay. Really far out, as far as you can go. And matza. And there this is go. how we lost Ooh. a leg. Ooh, this is slippery. All right, let's stand up. I'm not in the mood for Before a slide. Today. <laughs> can we move somewhere else? Another spot. This place is a minefield. Nice Guys, filming literally everything. So be careful what you say. Be careful what you say. She looks like an angel. She actually <laughs> kills people with words. <laughs> um. Just want one of these corners here. On yeah. The sure. Yeah. It's, it's cool, buddy. I'm gonna need this guy. Here. Okay. Like here. Huh? Jordan, ciao. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a sec. Where? I'm sitting here. Pronti. And she is where? You want to pop up right now? Yeah, go for it. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, thank you. No, thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you for your thank you. I really appreciate your appreciation. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. What can we do for you? Um, anything you want. Let's do a silly one. Oh, let's do a serious one and a silly photo. Uh, well, I'm not big on the silly ones. Okay. Just do an Italian one. What is Italian? I'm you a want a silly Italian. one? You want a, you're what? I'm a quarter Italian, if that counts. You know from where? Uh, no, I don't. You speak a little bit of it. I started learning many, many years ago and forgot almost all of it. What about the curse words? Merda. Is that? Yeah, okay. Got I that like one. it. I like it. I like it. <laughs> do you do this often? Like the street meets? Um, I come anytime I'm not already booked for something else. Do you uh, okay. do you I mean, I'm not married, but I'm a kid. So, so right now. That's one of the personal questions. You got me? I need you to send me these because uh, my friend makes the rings. Mamma mia. I cannot street speak. Street meat is great. Street meat is great. Street meat is awesome. Street meat. Smart no, no. Street, How do you say that in say it in street meat, tanta roba. Tanta roba. Is that street meat, tanta roba. Street meat, tanta roba. Yo, you're pretty good in accent. Yeah, right? I speak Spanish, oh. man. Come on. Tanta roba. <laughs> it means a lot of stuff, which means uh, very nice. I am concerned. Yeah, you should be, actually. What, what is that? Uh, this is, is a Teodred F2. It's a super telephoto prime. Obviously not the easiest thing to take portraits with, so I'm going to scout for an area where it works. I'm it's a... It looks like the thing that belongs at the end of a tank. Yeah, that's actually <laughs> what it is. I mean, it's a bit of a tank. Go ahead and hold it. Or <laughs> cut up! You see his arms here? Uh, yeah, no, uh, that's why he does heavy lifting. Yeah. No, uh, I don't even lift that. anymore. It's just the camera stuff now. Exactly. Get a More shot of that. that <laughs> <laughs> why? doing the video god i gotta do the video at the next one then and you shoot that's yeah, exactly he's, he's what's gonna happen. literally everything it's good that's how it works <laughs> right 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 doesn't make sense okay pronti we gotta find a new group sara who are you choosing stand around looking pretty until someone shows up uh, like this have you ever done videography how do you feel being be behind a camera? Huh? You never see me uncomfortable because you're literally filming everything. I'm scared that if I go to the bathroom, you'll be there too. <laughs> no, 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 no! <laughs> What's your name? Amir. Huh? Amir. Amir. Amedeo, nice to meet you. Would you like to shoot? Well, I'm just looking at right now because I'm not really a model photographer. I'm more of the landscape. Landscape, so beautiful. Totally more landscape. beautiful. I don't want to ruin it. So. <laughs> yeah. Pronto, you want to shoot? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. Are you guys together? Are you trying to get together? She's my sister. Is your sister? Oh, that's awesome. Nice. <laughs> yeah. No, she's not. Uh, no, you want to go along <laughs> with it? <laughs> I don't know. Are you mic'd up? Huh? So you're mic'd up? Yeah, so be careful what you say, yeah? Uh, be careful what you say. I didn't realize you were mic'd up to him. I see. Oh, you're mic'd up to him? Oh. That's what, that's, I warned you. <laughs> Hello? That's it. Could have said more. Now is your chance. <laughs> Merda. <laughs> Merda. Merda. <laughs> What's up? What can we do for you? A catwalk. Do, 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 do. Pull out the magnum. Have you ever watched Zoolander? Yes. Of course you did. She's a model. <laughs> mechanics of this out. Yeah. <laughs> Go. I 
can't hear you. Turn towards each other? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now try, try and speak up. So are we going out for dinner or for a cocktail? For what? For dinner or cocktail? Which one? I think we're actually going out for drinks afterwards. No. I gotta drive an hour after this. No, 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 no. <laughs> Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. That's easier. Oh. I think this is uh, Sarah's. No, Sarah had a normal bag, a little bag. There's not too many people. You know they're shooting at us? They're shooting us. Yeah, 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 of course, of course. I want to see what this master does. I want to see what this does. I want to see what this does. It's just super telephoto. It kind of no! blows out the background and stuff. I love it. Yeah, Fantastic. it'll be fun. You're doing both video and camera right now. Not, not like video like he's doing. I have to switch over to that. But you're just seeing what I'm doing as I'm setting up pictures. Yes. So it, it's different. It's fun. I'm I doing like it. YouTube reviews on a bunch of the equipment now. This is gonna be it. I think I found my thumbnail with you and him, right there. That should be a good yeah, one. You gotta see this. You yeah, gotta I'm gonna, see this. I'm gonna tag your channel, by the way. That'll okay, be like a okay. quick, a quick thing there. So people someday, see. someday I'll be a YouTuber like you. <laughs> by the way, how's that going? It's going pretty well. It's going. It's going pretty well. I'm not going to leave full time, but I think end of August is where that'll actually be. We're going to start transitioning. Yeah. I like yeah. it. I like it. Maybe soon. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> Ciao, cagnolino! <laughs> and I was looking. I fell in love for two seconds. How's it going? Ciao, how are you? Good. Flip. Huh? Flip. Flip. Yep. Amedeo. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I think that we should be for already. I don't think so. Okay. You watched, you watched the Pride video, right? The what? You watched the Pride video? What's the Pride video? The Pride video. Yes. That was me. I was his videographer. You are Philip. Yeah. I know everything about you. <laughs> All the bad <laughs> stuff. Everything about you too. Oh, <laughs> shit. Nice to meet you. Uh-uh. Let's go to... Let's Dude, go. Hey, how's it going? Flip. Flip? Yep. Oh, nice to... I hear you talking to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. My buddy. See, man? What the fuck? This is cool. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Sara is Italian. That's right. No, no, Sara is Italian. Oh, she is? She has uh, some of the... Oh, no. So, what's the show next? Do you know that cigars... You, he's gonna... You know cigars increase testosterone? Oh. <laughs> you said what? I will not say it again. Cigars increase testosterone? There's actually a study about it. I hope... You think it gives you a bigger dick? No, definitely not. You need a... You need a microscope. You need a microscope. <laughs> So the GoPro 360, the thing about it is it's an incredible camera. Yo, here right we here, here right we here. go, we got our friend here with the Ray-Bans with the camera on. He's secretly spying on all of us. Yes. Just sir. so you know, um, camera's I'm amazing. I'm still a good shot. Here, go play with it. Are you filming all, also on the other side? No, I'm filming you. Now look. We're I cannot do this? this Can I see how it looks on the phone? Hello, beautiful yeah, I, people. I haven't mic'd up. Hello, beautiful yeah. people. Excuse me, I would like my cigar back. Oh, really? yeah. Thank you. Did you like it? Amazing. Yeah, pretty good. Let's do a with the cigar. Okay. Ready? Oh my gosh, that's the tiniest touch screen. That's so cool. Yeah. Treat me DC and um, our guy Emmadale here is taking a slow mo shot, um, smoking his cigar and smoking these cigars from uh, Italy and they're dipped in coffee. Yes, it's an amazing cigar. You love it, though. Yeah, love it. Straight, straight from Italy. And Taylor here. What's up, y'all? He's taking shots of Amadeo. Video. Video shots. Coach, okay. not too okay. many go, people. Go say something funny to somebody that doesn't know you. Like, go go meet someone new and say something silly, like, 
Yeah. Now you told me what to do, now I don't like it. Oh. 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 <laughs> give me a second, give me a moment of up. Any of these people? Okay. Babbery booby! Have you shot with an Italian before? No. Wanna shoot with an Italian? Why not? What's your name? Jared. Jared. Yeah. Amedeo, Amedeo. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I didn't want to be too intrusive, no, but that's no, the way I am. Hoppala! <laughs> uh, what's up, let's shoot! <laughs> what can I do for you? I improvise it. I can sit, we don't have as much sun. A camera. A camera, you got a microphone, no, no, no. Right. you got everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People are watching you. Where have you been so you, I'm, I'm assuming you, they put you. Put we you can use this again. one again, it's not a problem. You got uh, some sun again. there. Again. Again. I know again. What about, what about over here? Didn't do that one. What I said, on the wall? Okay. What do you want me to do? Wait, 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 wait. He was in Naples. He's the... He's the bravest man in the world. Like even Naples, it, Naples, two years, no rocks. Yo, even Italians are scared of Naples. I'll tell you that, I'll tell you that. He's being filmed. He's too famous. <laughs> For fun. Yeah. You maniac or something? You got your pics. Mr. Vanity, Mr. Vanity, Mr. Zulander. I speak a bit of Deutsch. Richtig gut, mein Lieber. Aber <laughs> I'm, I'm really pretty rusty, but I grew up listening to my family. Okay. My family. You, like, I could imagine you right now in a, in a Lederhose. Like you, the reason I'm saying is you look like one of my best friends back in uh, oh, back that's in Italy. So funny. Actually, I'm gonna show you. Actually. <laughs> yes. Okay. Let's okay. see. Let's see that my brother, my long lost brother. That's him. Oh yeah, like he has the same oh, yeah. glasses as you. Yeah. Well, the glasses are very yeah. I, it's the glass. I, I actually try, I tried on some glasses that are more round. They are perfect. But I looked like I, I looked a little too German. I the love them. Ones. These are I just right. They're perfect. Just right amount. Now the question. Now here's the question. Do you have a pair of these? I don't. I need to buy some. They're amazing. <laughs> they're actually comfortable. They're warm. Oh okay. They're so warm. I get warm even in like these athletic shorts. I'm okay. Even warm, so. <laughs> it's okay. So. This is my first time here, so uh, okay. I was going to ask what's your experience with uh, street music? I've done a couple. Uh, I do, I'm a model myself, but uh, whenever I need like uh, some pictures, some stuff to update my social media, come here. Oh, okay, cool. It's really cool to meet people. Yeah, I used to live in Manhattan. Okay. I kind of did it all in a way. Like, I felt like I got what I needed out of New York. How old are you? Um, 32. Fuck you, not true. <laughs> like, this is, this is, like, how much fucking time did you have? How, how old are you? Uh, I'm 28, but oh, okay. you're uh, far, you were younger. <laughs> oh, all, so well, I'll, I'll take I'll, that. I'll, I'll, what? No, I'll take the compliment. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Alex younger. is 23. That's why I'm, I'm oh, still okay. associating you to Alex. Okay. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, yeah, I'll take it as a compliment. No, it's a beautiful city, I'll tell you. I'll tell you, the more I travel around America, I've been in, uh, in America for five years now. Okay, cool. The more I travel, the more I like DC. What are some other cities you've enjoyed? Uh, New York I like, but just for a weekend. It's oh, too yeah. much for, yeah, I come from Rome, which is chaotic, but uh, it reminds me a lot of DC because it's not built as tall. It doesn't make you feel small. Yes, uh, New York really does. You know what I say to people when they ask me the big difference? For me, uh, there's always a sunny side of the street in uh, DC. Yeah. Taylor, can I have your lighter? Yeah. Dia. Yes. Dia. Amedeo. 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 <laughs> it starts with the vowel, right? Uh, Amedeo. Okay. Amedeo. Amedeo. Oh, Amadeo. Amadeo. Yes. Amadeo. That's Amadeo. easier to remember. Yes. I, I, don't don't I normally when I introduce myself, I say, I say Amadeus. Oh, okay. Because it's easier for people. Yeah. They, uh, I'm gonna keep saying it until like, I remember. No, no, you will it's forget it. Give it two minutes, no, and it is, two it minutes, and you will forget it. Yeah, I will. It's okay. No, Dia, <laughs> Dia, yes, Dia, yes. Dia. <laughs> two minutes, and I will forget it. Uh, we will introduce ourselves again. No, I might not. I might not. I might. You know what this reminds me of? Okay, you're gonna slap me in the face if I say it. Oh, God. The Berlin Wall. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> like sure. I came here, I took a picture and sure. po posted yeah. it. Berlin Wall because uh, I've been to Berlin a few times. I mean, German yeah. school, yeah. German yeah. friends. Yeah, there you go. Like, <laughs> am I in the wrong place? I'm back. It's like deja vu. Yeah. Something yeah. happened. Yeah. Yes, Italian, okay. Italian. I, was like, I can German do a German accent, accent if you want. No, I heard you speak German a second But he's well-educated, he's a well-educated man. Yeah. No, I'm still a moron, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> John, I will salute you for a second. Yeah, sure, sure. Pleasure to meet you. Great to meet you too. Thank you, sir. I'm a day. Thank you, sir. I think I'm done for the day. I've never seen one of those in my life. I love the Adam on the Huh? Va bene. Oh, non va bene. Che bello. Antonio Montana. <laughs> All right, all right, let's, all do right. Some, let's do some pictures. That's so cool. You're doing pictures or you're doing video? Both. Okay, okay. Don't listen. When, when I say do not record, do not turn it off. Oh. Keep on recording. I got that on video. Keep on recording. Oh! That's cool. That was awesome. All right, my friend. My cigar is off. That's fine. I can Photoshop. Okay. Yeah! Woo! That was awesome. Hold on. One, two, three. Perfect. And one, two, three. What do you think about your first time? Oh, it's great. It's amazing. The, there's something about like learning how to how, how to do something that I just enjoy the process. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like I'm I'm not out here obviously like it's oh, yeah, getting hey, hella shots oh, yeah, or anything go, like that, but go, go no, yeah, I've been going up to them and like, and and they've been taking shots of me, and I've gotten some dope stuff, dude. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I mean, that's why I came, like, just to get Absolutely. more more shots, exactly, and and whatnot. Hey, look who it is. How you doing? <laughs> good. How about yourself? Good, good, good. So here we are, entertaining the crowd, <laughs> taking some photos. Look at that. The lighter again. The lighter. The lighter. Where's the lighter? I know. Oh my God. I think I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right, here we go. Have it. Okay. You Let's got see it. You gotta get it back. Let's see if you gotta get it. I don't think you gotta get it. Look who it is. That's that's good stuff. Wait. Let's follow that. This is a. Come through, have a beer with us, hang out. That way, y'all actually talk to each other rather than just take our photos. Uh, Sarah, yeah. can we get her over here? Yeah. Can you throw her a rock? Got it. Oh man. Wait till the end. He's done. Ciao, ciao, Amedeo. How are you, brother? How are you, brother? I'm very good. I haven't seen you all day. Are you shooting or are you done? Just getting started. You just getting started. You arrived now. Yes. Oh, Madonna. So I guess late, you know, they're already going to drink. Then we drink and you shoot. We do everything natural. Of course. We're shooting drunk people, throwing cocktails at each other. We should. <laughs> <laughs>